I think I'm going to start reading out loud. I've kind of done it a little, I think, in one of the previous ones, but it just feels weird not to read it out loud, the parts that are not read out loud, but part of it also feels weird to read them out loud, so I don't know. But I think I'm going to start reading them out loud today because I, I just feel like it. It's my stream, and nobody is saying one way or the other if they prefer it that way, so... Oh. In the previous timeline, we won the mock battle through sheer force of will, while in this one it was all thanks to the new OS. But now we are going head to head with actual commissioned soldiers. Luckily, we have more Shiranui's on our side, though with Second Lieutenants Kazami and Kashiwagi on the other team, who knows if we'll even get close to them. I am starting to feel like we are boned here. So how does a captain stack up? Pretty sure I already know the answer to this one. Isumi Taiyu wa sasuga saiko-san dake atte arayuru men ni oite suki ga nai. Yep. Gun Interceptor Light wa chu taichou no position de aru yue itashikata nai ga izure no Damn it. Those jack of all trade types are always the most annoying to deal with. She is a really hard worker. A perfectionist, even. I bet she has been obsessively polishing her skills for years. It is not really a fair comparison right now, of course. They both approach things from a pretty logical perspective, but the captain is better at keeping an open mind and staying cool under pressure. When perfectionists like that learn how to deal with adversity, it makes them way more formidable. And in that respect, I think the captain is probably a bit more savvy than Chizuru is at the moment. I cannot imagine she would have lasted very long as Yuko Sensei's subordinate otherwise. Alright, what about Suzumiya? Akane-san wa dogfight nōryoku ga hii deteru ne. Sugoku omoikiri ga ii yo. Yes, I remember Lieutenant Hayase mentioning that she tends to be pretty reckless. But that is also because she idolizes Lieutenant Hayase so much and feels like she needs to work twice as hard to succeed where her older sister failed. Yes, I remember. Just over the course of the coup d'etat in the XM3 trial, Unit A01 suffered two deaths and lost another member due to serious injuries. Oh. おそらくスズミヤはその者たちへの思いに駆り立てられているのであろうな。あかねさん、英文隊の隊長だったからね。Oh god, I had no idea. She is definitely a lot got a lot on her shoulders. それがスズミヤの無鉄砲さや村の多さにつながっているのであろう。Sergeant Jinguji's death must be weighing on her too. And yet, she still tries to hide it all behind that bubbly facade. Though if you really think about it, Suzumiya is not the only one struggling with that guilt. I guarantee Maya and the others are too. They must have been informed that their old squad mate from 207 died in battle shortly after I left for the other world, while they were still reeling from what happened to the sergeant. On top of that, class rep's dad died, 
Mikoto still has no clue where Chief Yoroi is. Even Ayamine lost someone very close to her, whether he was actually her ex-lover or not. God, I've been such a baby. Thank you for noticing. I am so ashamed. I cannot believe it took me so long to even realize this. You guys really are incredible. I want to hold myself up to those same standards. So I will never foist my problems off on someone else ever again. I promise. I will force myself to act bright and cheerful, even if my real emotions are plain as day. If I cannot even do that much, I have no right to call myself a surface pilot. Interesting. So it's not just me she has it out for. Yes, for sure. She never sounds straight up antagonizing or anything. No, you must have been seeing things. That being said, the last thing she said to me before walking away did sound like a bit more than the friendly challenge. Maybe she is just intense about this stuff. I could definitely understand that, given what happened to her sister, and the fact that she has probably seen her fair share of bloodshed. Storm Vanguard 1 de Aru Hayase Chui ga Takeru o Tsuyo ku ishiki shite iru no da. You are joking, right? Either that or you just were not listening. Thanks, guys. I feel like I've got a good idea of what we are up against now. How about our team? Munakata Chui wa. What? That is not exactly what I was asking. Though I can definitely see how she might be popular with the ladies. Wait, did she not say she was down for anything? As long as it feels good. Oh my. I know the UN is pretty chill with sexual conduct among frontline soldiers, since it helps boost morale and all, but are they that liberal about gender too? I mean, why not? As long as it boosts morale, right? <laughs> if she is saying anything goes, maybe she actually is into some adventurous stuff. I still have a hard time telling whether she is joking or not a lot of the time. I mean, what she said to Lieutenant Hayase earlier was obviously teasing, but I feel like she just likes to play devil's advocate sometimes. Says the queen of incoherent trains of thought. Yes, would not want to overlook that. I did catch myself thinking yesterday that Lieutenant Munakuta, Munakata might be better at commanding a unit than Lieutenant Hayase. Munakata, Munakata. I can totally see Hayase turning down a promotion like that anyway, just because she likes being a storm vanguard so much. Mm -hmm. 
I am pretty sure that's not quite what she told you to say. I do not want to die just yet, thanks. Oh shit. I've got the bowls and teapots, you get the rest. You know, for as serious as first lieutenant Suzumiya gets when she is doing battle logistics, she sure is soft-spoken most of the time. え、僕たちからですか注意。そうよ。隊員も言ってたけど、これは新入りたちの完熟が主な目的。主役はあんたたちじゃない。張り切ってどうぞ。えっと、まず、アルファ隊の戦力から判断すると、スタンドオフ
音源で大まかな位置をつかむと同時に遠距離から威嚇攻撃を開始あえて自分の位置をさらし私たちに攻撃させることで各機の位置を特定そして風間少尉によるメイン圧を加えこちらのストームヴァンガードの数を減じた後は優先順に目標をしらみつぶしにすると考えますなるほどね So they will use their own snipers as bait, then have Lieutenant Kazama start picking us off. That is another valid plan, too. Ayami and Mitsurgi Sarat, the Kose Sanjit, Storm Vanguard Koho, the Kenoko, the Admin. Shirogane, Antawa? Oh, we've got a decision point. Alert? Okay. What decision should I make? There is no point in deliberating over this. From a logical standpoint, it would make the most sense for them to go with a low risk defensive strategy. But since they have got snipers, we have no choice but to go on the offensive, so I do not see much point in worrying about what they are going to do. In the end, a prediction is just a prediction. No matter what formation they start with, they are still going to change it up to adapt to our movements. There is nothing wrong with trying to anticipate their initial approach, but if we are too focused on countering one specific strategy, they will make short work of us. We surface pilots need to keep an eye on the intel we are given and make quick on the spot judgments in response to developing situations. First, Lieutenant Suzumiya will make sure we are up to date with the latest tactical information, so we should just focus on the battle as it ensues. And if we see an enemy, we will be sure to take them out as efficiently as possible. It is as simple as that. なるほど。よくわかった。それじゃあここで確認しておくけど、この訓練の目的は一体何だった僕たちが早く機体になれるためと… <笑> 先人の人たちが知らぬいの性能を再確認するためですその通りじゃあ何のためにそんなことやってるかわかるわよねえー、so we can protect the zero zero unit right but I cannot say that yet is she about to drop that bomb on us A01 部隊の使命を果たすためですうーんもうちょっと具体的に人類の勝利に貢献するためですちょっと先に行き過ぎベータと戦うためです正解部隊の訓練は全てあんたたちがベータと戦っても生き残れるようにするためにやってるのよ Oh, so that is what she meant She was not talking about the zero zero unit at all では質問タイがアルファ隊とブラボー隊を今みたいな編成にした理由わかるものいる Well, the main point of the exercise is to give us a feel for how the Sierra Nui handles. But if that were the only reason, she would have balanced the teams out more equally. Maybe it's like what Sergeant Chingu she did with class rep and Ayamine, and she's trying to improve her relationship with Lieutenant Hayase, or help Suzumiya come to terms with things. No, that cannot be it. The captain would not let her personal problems affect our training. <laughs> First Lieutenant Suzumiya is so... 
タたちがベータと戦って生き残るってすごいヒントだったんだけどね白金我々が戦うブラボー隊最大の戦術的特徴を言ってみる Well, they are better at long range battle, so probably in a standoff. We are better in close quarters, so probably a brute force offensive. So that's why we were split up like this. They are trying to get us used to those kinds of situations. That must be why they did it to us when we were cadets, too. So it was not just to force Ayamine and class rep to start getting along then. その意味ではさっきの白金の策は結果的に正しいのよ。What? You mean the part where I said it was pointless to try to predict our opponent's moves? 私たちが訓練する目的はベータと戦うため。だとすれば人間相手の訓練でああだこうだ考えて勝ってもしょうがないのよ。人間相手の模擬戦でいくら優秀な戦績を上げようが。実戦では全く当てにならない。ベータの思考は人間とは全く違うからね。Right, I totally forgot. They told me that when I got commissioned in the previous timeline. Actually, I remember thinking about during the XM3 trials too. だからこそ、この設定であんたたちに感じこをやらせるの。そして、どんな状況変化にも対処できる連携を学ぶのよ。So it is basically the same reason we do simulated hive infiltrations. I was totally missing the forest for the trees here. Hi. They are absolutely right. I have been way too focused on the big picture to focus on any of the comparatively minor details. さっき人間相手に勝っても実戦では関係ないって勝っても負けても結果が同じなら勝つのよその方が絶対いいのはあ I should have known Lieutenant Hayase would be like this though I guess anyone who was Storm Vanguard 1 would probably want to be the Alpha Dog確かにな Oh great not you too いや敗北から教訓を導き出すことは容易であるがゆえに人は往々にしてその行為で満足してしまうものだ実際にその教訓を生かすことは言われているほどたやすくはないぞ She has got that right. I can attest to it first hand. だが勝利から得るものはそれを謙虚に受け止めさえすればさらなる成功につなげやすいものだミツルギーあんたなかなかいいこと言うわね気に入ったわはありがとうございますメイヤー I do not think Lieutenant Hayase is the kind of person you want to be buddying up with シーローガーネ聞こえたわよあんたはそうね単独石膏決定 Wait what? All by myself? She is setting me up to be the bait. But they have got snipers lined up against us, and Suzumiya is going to be gunning for me too. I am screwed. 
白金が何か文句があるそうです俺の方があんたより戦術機の操縦はうまいからそんなのは楽勝だと言っていました何ですって What the hell? I never said that. What is this chick's problem? What are you talking about, Lieutenant Munakata? That is. What the hell is she going on about? いいわねできなかったら食事3回抜くわよ。ルテン・カザミ・カザマズ is almost definitely going to be at the heart of their formation. How the hell am I supposed to take her out and be the only recon unit? That is flat out impossible. シロガネ、早く返事した方がいい。ムナカタ注意が。また何か言いたそうな顔してるよ。I cannot let her say any more. Synthetic or no, food is one of the only pleasures I've got left in this world. Very well. I, Second Lieutenant Shirogane, will conduct recon duty solo and also neutralize Lieutenant Kazama. Oh, they got good data now. そんなに腕に自信があるのか。Shut up. This is all your fault. どうした？ため息などついて。Well, I could not take Lieutenant Kazama down. I was kind of looking forward to eating. And we fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Setekis Ria Sok Kotai Ste Sasoikomi, Sayukara no Sogeki de Ashidome Ste Iraidani, Kotai Ste Kazamaki Ga Mense at Sokona. Migoto Narenke de Atana. Mina, Yoko Ano Hajo Kogi de Kino Kotane. 離れて見てた僕が生きた心地しなかったからね紫外線だから遮蔽物も多いミサイルはこっちを炙り出すための威嚇だから Exactly If we got distracted trying to dodge around those They would have shot us full of holes in an instant でも鈴宮木と柏木木を撃墜したしこっちは損害なしだから早瀬注意も多めに見てくれるんじゃないかなそれは無理えそうかなタケルが落としたのは鈴宮明だ柏木を落としたのは早瀬注意だ Yes, and since we could not take out any of the TS h o u s e m e n to represent the laser heavy class laser classes none of that matters 対レーザー球戦を想定した演習である以上こたびは私たちの敗北であろうからなそうかじゃあタケルのご飯の運命はこの後の演習評価の時間ではっきりするね。Please stop. You are only making my stomach grumble even more. うん。普通であれば、あれは奮起させるための冗談であろうから気にするなと言ってやりたいところなのだが。
This is Lieutenant Hayase we are talking about. Come on, you guys. Knock it off. Thoughts on what? Yes, I guess you could say that. I mean, I'm not sure what you want to know. Okay then. Well, for starters, maybe this is something I just did not notice yesterday because it was my first hive infiltration exercise and I was jacked up on adrenaline. But there is definitely a huge difference in horsepower. That engine must generate some serious torque. You know, in retrospect, we almost had to take on the rebels share in the reason of bookies, did we not? That is a horrifying thought. If we did not have a new OS back then, we might not have made it out alive. Also, its CNI system is vastly superior to the Fubuki's, which makes sense because I doubt you would want to start a cadet on something this complicated. Oh yes, I can imagine. For someone who has to operate at long range, it must be a godsend. Being able to track multiple enemies, distinguish friendlies from hostiles, evaluate threat levels, and so forth. Anything else? You know, you would think it would be a bad thing for a third generation training TSF to be so vastly different from one of its combat model counterparts. I mean, no, but that is a good thing. Actually, not to change the subject, but did you guys notice how insanely good Lieutenant Kazama and the Captain were in those Gekishins? Even with the XM3 installed, that was nuts! Lieutenants Hayase and Muna Kata were pretty great in them too. Even with the handicap, they did not miss a beat out there. Those guys are on a completely different level from the teams that were participating in the XM3 trials. The Gekishin's design is antiquated at this point, so you would think there would be a limit to how much it can do, even if you install modern equipment on it. But these guys were moving with no problems whatsoever. Just goes to show how familiar they are with the new OS. I guess. It definitely feels rewarding to think that the XM3 is going to improve the capabilities of all service pilots around the world, regardless of what they are piloting. No kidding. I mean, I know you guys were using unfamiliar TSFs too, but they were practically running rings around doing those old things. What? 
データも何もかも万全でよかったのかもしれないけどさ。Oh, I get it. So you're worried about damaging your superior's TSF, is that it? That is unusually considerate of you. 確かに、演習前はそうだったけど、そんなんじゃないよ。Then what is it? だからさっき聞いたじゃないか。Refresh my memory. 僕は今日初めて実機に乗ってかなりシミュレーターと違うなって思ったんだよ後半は慣れたけどさ You sure you're not imagining things? Sure, maybe the simulators are not perfect but it would not make sense for them to not feel like the real thing Otherwise there would be no point in training with them かける、実は私もだシミュレーターと実機の挙動の差になれるのに多少時間がかかった。エロアバユー、アヤミネイ。そうだね。機体側の軌道データにちょっと振り回された。メイヤ、ユーランルテナ、ハイアーセイス、ティアセプライト、アヤミネイ、ウスルテナ、ウナカラス。そうだ。Our Fukis uses proof of concept OS, so some of these guys' dad must still be backed up from their old machines. And of course, the TSFs they were borrowing must have retained some of their pilot's data as well. They have probably got a lot of weird little quirks, sort of like heavily customized cars. Is that what the issue is here? Was Maya having to butt heads with all the data that Lieutenant Hayase is accumulated out in the field? And maybe Ayamine was struggling because Lieutenant Munakata's combat data is uniquely tailored to the gun interceptor position. No, the data link is supposed to synchronize all of our attitude control data. So it should not have felt that different from the simulators. Maybe there is a bug in the system. Training school, the simulator from the training school. I felt the same way. 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 Wait, that is it. It is so simple. It did not feel strange to me because I never trained with A01 in my Fubuki. Well, I went straight to the Shiranui with all my old data already installed onto it, right? And as soon as I hopped in the cockpit, it immediately imported and applied all of our attitude control data. That is why it felt like we just clicked the simulator. Well,ました地の吹雪にもデータ自体はあったが、機体の基本性能の差でそれを再現できなかったということか。それは変だね。だったらシミュレーターだけじゃなく、実機でも再現できなきゃおかしい。そうだよ。だってデータ自体は強化装備側で持ってるんじゃないか。Hold on, just let me finish. You remember how we used to call the XM3 the new OS during its proof of concept phase, right? うん、そうだね。The XM3 is the official name for the mass-produced version. So think of it this way: our Fubuki's were still running on a prototype OS. But the captain and the others are using a later prototype, one that was based on the data we had already collected and designed to be mass producible. I think that's what caused the problems, not the TSFs, but the differences in the OS itself. OS no sa. My Shiranui's control unit is brand new, so it is running on XM3. 
that is why I adapted so smoothly to my simulator data. Because the simulators are set to emulate XM32, which is understandably a lot more stable than any of the prototypes. While the simulators could easily import the data from our fortified suits, the Shirinui's you guys just used were still running on the prototype OS. That is why it took a while to adjust to the transition. And the fact that you were switching to a less advanced OS while upgrading to a more advanced TSF definitely made it even worse. Yeah, and come to think of it, that would also explain why the seniors had no trouble at all adapting to the Gekishins, which were already running on XM3. Yes, you are right. Which means she'll probably be giving the rest of the squadron the latest version too. Probably. Now that you have adapted to their Shiranui's, you should have no problem transitioning to your own. Bingo. Come on, you go since I was the one who did all the work. And besides, I'm only guessing on this stuff. でも、私たちと同じような戸惑いを感じているやもしれんな。演習評価が終わったら、みんなでPXに行こうよ。今日の訓練はもうないし。Actually, I... ちょうど知らないの違和感の話をしていたところなんだ。え、じゃああなたたちも。うん、やはりな。玉瀬はどうだ。はい。なんか最初すごく挙動が気持ち悪くて。やっぱりその仕組みを竹田が解明したんだ
Now that our training is over, I've got to go handle something for the XO. Uh -huh. So that thunder. It's fine. I should have told you guys from the get-go. My main duty is to bring Sumika back to normal. And if I am right, then finishing that present is going to be a crucial step towards making it happen. So there really is not any reason not to call this part of my mission. When they ask, it is not like I have to go into any detail. But it does make me feel a little guilty, since I cannot deny this has a lot to do with my feelings for Sumika too. I do not want to make it sound more noble than it really is. <laughs> She is right. I have not really been able to sit down and chat with everyone since before the coup d'etat. And they think I was sent off on a secret mission all by myself right after what happened to Sergeant Jengu Jin. So they are probably a lot more worried than they need to be. I know they all have their pretty serious emotional baggage of their own to deal with, too. Look, I am sorry. Right, let's go. I can hear Kasumi apologizing again. Guess she is still having trouble with Cat's Cradle. だけど、あの人は大切な人ですよね。白金武さんは、すみかさんにとって大切な人ですよね。Oh, I guess it was not Cat Cradle after all. そばにいてほしいと思いませんか? We still do not know if talking to her about these kinds of things will have any real effect on her psyche. Though I cannot blame Kasumi for trying since I have been doing the exact same thing to no avail. ごめんなさい。私、お話しするの下手ですね。うまく説明できません。今なら、あいつらを殺せる。ごめんなさい。前は見えていたのに、殺したいから、今は何も見えません。I see. She is trying to say things that might trigger an emotional reaction from Sumika. One that she would be able to perceive. <sighs> Kasumi, do not apologize. <gasps> what? Did not notice I was here? She must have really been focused on Sumika. Come on, what did I just say? You really do not need to apologize so much. It is not like you have got anything to apologize for. Do not say you are sorry when you have done nothing wrong. Besides, you are doing the best you can. You spent the entire day with her, did you not? Mainly because I had to wake up early for the Shiranui shipment, 
then got moved into the mock battle. You have stuck with her through thick and thin, have you not? I owe you big time for that, so doesn't say. Trust me, no one thinks you have done anything wrong. No problem. So how did things go today? Sumika, how you been? Oh yes. So you have been on your best behavior then, Sumika. And a girl. Oh yes, I was looking for Sensei earlier, but she was not in her room. Any idea where she might be? I was hoping to see how Sumika's vital charts for today looked. They are drafting it up as we speak. Guess that means she will not be back today. She did say she has been constantly in and out of meetings lately. I was kind of hoping to see what Sumika's brainwave patterns look like when she is stable. Oh well, I guess. What is up, Sumika? You have something to say? She is still obsessing over that. Her hatred of the beta truly knows no bounds. Anyone would feel that way though, after what they did to her. You already did, remember? You only get to train once a day. Well, sorry, but them's the breaks. Sumika. There is more to life than that, Sumika. そしたら復讐できる。私が復讐してあげるからね。ゆうさま。絶対。絶対。全部殺したい。すみかさん。白金さんは大切な人ですよね。早く。早くしてよ。目の前にいるのは白金さんですよ。戦うからだから。白金さんの思いは伝わっていますよね。皆殺しにするから大切な人なんですよね。大切な思い出たくさんありますよね。頑張って思い出してください。she is actually reacting to Kasumi's words now, ever so slightly. She has never calmed down this quickly before, not without having a full-blown panic attack. Does this mean she is starting to react to memories and stuff now? Maybe I should take her up to the hill behind the school. I do not know what kind of memory she and I shared in this world, or what sort of relationship we had. And the tree that is there now was planted after we took back this area, so there might not have been even been a tree there originally. That said, just being there would definitely bring back some of my most vivid memories of her. And since she can read minds now, that might count for something. 
I might even be able to figure out what kind of relationship we had in this world based on how she reacts to my thoughts. And who knows when she will be this stable again. Hey, Sumika, why do we not go for a walk? No, we are not training. I just think some fresh air would do you some good. Do not worry. Sensei said I can do whatever I want with her as long as it gets results. Come on, Sumika, let us go. No, we cannot let you fight until you snap out of this. Otherwise, you will what? Sumika, I am right here. Can you not see? Sumika, I am not going anywhere. No, I am staying right here with you. What is it? Do you see something? A warm color. Right. She sees emotions as colors, does she not? Has that ever happened before? No oh, shit, we're getting through. And then now is the perfect chance to take her up to the hill. Unless of course the hill is where he got murdered, but in fact, this is probably my best opportunity to give her the Santa Rabbit too. I have not painted it yet, so it's not quite done. But I think it will be meaningful regardless. If Sensei asks, tell her we went up to that hill I showed you a while back. Though I am guessing her monitoring system tracks Sumika's location anyway. And if you do not mind, could you keep an eye on my thoughts? If something goes wrong, I will signal you for help. Okay, Sumika. Let's get going. I've got to make a quick stop at my room first, though. Hope you do not mind. Man, oh man, it is pitch black out here. No light pollution in this world, that is for sure. Sure is cold out here. Is she actually cold, or is she just repeating what I said? Can her body even feel cold? Since it's a, yeah, she probably is. Yuko said the zero zero units artificial bias simulates all five cents. Okay, so she might be cold. I can see even see her breath. It is hard to believe she is not human. Now maybe next time you'll listen when I tell you to bundle up. Here, take my jacket. I'm 
I see. Holy shit, that sounded so natural. It's working. Something is changing deep down inside of her. We made so many memories up on this hill. Maybe not in this world, but still. If I can at least show her mine, I am sure it will spark some sort of emotion in her. だからいいだろ。悪いけど俺、貸してやれるわけ持ってないぞ。いいよ。期待してなかったから。そう言われるとな。ねえねえ、たけるちゃん。なんだ。来年の夏も一緒に来てくれる?なんで来年の夏なん
Nani, Kore. You know what Christmas is, right? Christmas. Shitteru yo? Good. Not everyone in this world does, you know? Christmas to Tanjobi wa present no hi. Yes, that's right. So think of it as an early Christmas present from me to you. Christmas present. Every year, on the night before Christmas, this jolly old guy named Santa Claus flies around the world in his magic sleigh, delivering presents to all the good little boys and girls. Well, that's how the story goes anyway. He does not actually exist. Oh, 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 spoilers, spoilers, I'm so sorry, people. Iki. And that is why, back when I was a kid in the other world, I promised I would give you presents every year in his stead. At the time, I was too young to realize just how much those presents meant to you. Though even as I got older, it never really clicked. I was still so naive at heart. I did not understand how I really felt about you. I told myself we were just childhood friends and pretended not to notice my true feelings. But in reality, I... What, from my story or just the temperature? <laughs> See, this is why I offered to lend you my coat. Here, take it. Oh, come on. You want to just head back inside then? I thought giving her the rabbit doll might induce a more significant change in her behavior, but I guess it's just not that simple. She does seem to recognize me now, but that is about it. Maybe I should stop trying to force things, things on her. Clearly my memories from the other world are not resonating with her, so... <laughs> I am not quite sure how to interpret that, but maybe it means she is enjoying herself. Could be that my memories had an effect on her after all. But are you not cold? Whoa, dude. That sounded so natural. Maybe it really did work. Okay, let me hunker down here. Then you can sit between my legs. Sure, can do. How is this? Any better? Still cold? That is good. Yes, she is starting to remember the other me. Oh yeah? How warm are we talking here? If I play my cards right, I might get a better idea of how close we were in this world. Go on. Oh no, not again. 
based on some of her earlier episodes, it does seem like she is at least aware that I am dead in this world, though. Sumika? Do not start up with this again. You are making such good progress. It is okay, Sumika. There is no need to worry about that yet. It is going to be okay, Sumika. I promise. Sumika, just drop it already. I know you're going to have to fight them someday, but I will be right there with you. You will not have to face this alone. So please, just be Sumika for now. She is losing it again. She was so stable earlier too. Did I push her too far? Sumika. Kasumi, are you watching this? If it gets any worse, call Sensei for help. I am right here. Everything is fine. Sumika, I am already here. Can you not see me? I am right here beside you. Look. You are safe now, I promise. I will always be here for you. I am not going anywhere. Sumika. She is reacting to me. Is the panic attack over? I think that was more like a PTSD attack, but okay. Sumika, are you okay? Sumika. Is she starting to recognize me for who I am? Is she going to start treating me like I am the other Takeru again? Sumika, you know who I am? Well, I just... Are you okay? Wait. She is doing it again. Not sure I can afford to just sit back and see what happens any longer. She is going in and out of panic attacks way more frequently than she ever has before. Sumika? Sumika? 
ことを教えてあげる。What is going on? She has never noticed me during an episode before. She is always just terrified or blind with rage. Yes, this is nothing like her previous attacks. It does seem like she is getting me mixed up with the Takaru Chan she knew, but at least she is acknowledging my presence. Another headache. I was right. The cycles are getting faster. She is talking in full senses now, too. Okay. Guess I will just have to keep rattling off memories and see where we go from here. We have come this far. I cannot wuss out now. You know, Sumika, there's actually a bit more backstory to that rabbit I just gave you. <laughs> Hang in there, Sumika. You are doing great. Once we grew up a little and found out there never was a Santa Claus, I sort of just stopped giving you Christmas presents altogether. Honestly, I did not mean to. I just forgot. But when we finally started going out, you know what you said to me? You said it was the best present you had ever been given. I had lived a pretty normal life until then. Sure, but that was definitely the sweetest thing anyone ever said to me. And that is why I will never leave you, Sumika. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. We will spend Christmas together again someday. <laughs> Just you and me. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> What is up? <laughs> Sumika? Is it your head again? <laughs> yeah, she is having some serious mood swings now. And for a second there, she was even talking directly to me and not the other Tekaru. <laughs> Did she just say, Sensei? Does she mean you, Go Sensei? Sumika? What is not right? Is she reaching her limit? I probably should not keep pushing her like this. It cannot be good for her brain. <laughs> Sensei, I'm 
she is saying sensei again is it because i call her yuko sensei most people refer to her as professor kozuki or just the xo do they not then again kasumi does not call her that either i guess i should not jump to any conclusions Sumika. That is right. She is talking to me again, but I do not think she can tell the difference between me and my other self. Dude, what the hell is going on with her? Okay, we should probably head back now. Maybe, we're just going to have to wait and see. Wait, what does she mean by that? She has never been here before. When was the last time you were here, Sumika? Yes, yes, I hear you. Let us head inside. From what I can tell, it definitely sounds like we are more than just friendly acquaintances in this world. She knows the other me is dead, and she is trying to avenge him. That is all the proof I need. I think that knowledge alone is going to help us a lot. That is why I am hoping, anyway. December 22, 2001. ま、とめると、基本である It is over. Thank God it was only simulator training, because I am way too sleep deprived for anything else. Field training this afternoon is going to suck though, and we have got a night combat exercise right after that. I am excited to get back in my new Shiranui, and I do enjoy the live exercises. I can already tell I'm going to be sore for days afterwards. It should not be too bad, dear, thanks to the feedback system in my fortified suit, but being subjected to high g-forces takes a toll on your body regardless. The moment the suit comes off, it will all catch up to me. If I had gotten enough sleep the past few days, though, that would not even be an issue. But at the same time, I do think staying up late to review off Sumika's data is helping, so I will just have to power through. Okay, time to go pick up Sumika and bring her back here for lunch. Partly to check in and see if my presence has had any noticeable effect, but also because I want to show her what the outside world looks like during the daytime. Suzu Mia, sure, what is up? I do not know what you mean. 
とぼけるんだ君の独創的な軌道のおかげで左翼側の連携がめちゃくちゃになった件なんだけど Oh that あれかじゃないわよ確かに君の軌道制御技術はすごいと思うけど連携できなきゃ意味ないでしょ Right sorry I have got to do this sort of stuff now so you guys can get some data on the way I move Otherwise, we will risk having a similar breakdown teamwork during an actual battle. Take it easy. I never said it was. But I also do not think my movements were impossible to coordinate with either. Dude, chill, Suzumiya. What has got you so snippy? No, I am not saying you are wrong. But if me running off on my own were such a big problem, do you not think Lieutenant Hayase would have written me a new one by now? <laughs> Come on, that is not what I said. What is her deal? The moment I bring up Lieutenant Hayase, she immediately goes docile. ねえ、お二人さん。なんか珍しい組み合わせだね。何か怪しいそうだ。そんなんじゃないわよ。あ、そうだ。ハルコだってさよくポジションなんだから、何かやってやりなさいよ。Here we go again. え、あ、さっきのこと別にいいんじゃない。特に問題ないんだし。ちょっと何言ってんの?問題だらけじゃない。そうかな。結果的には良かったと思ったんだけどな。良かったって。ハルコだってまともに支援できなかったじゃない。
tell, she might actually be well suited for command. Not that Suzumiya does not have a point, but like most Storm Vanguard hopefuls, she has kinda got blinders on when it comes to the big picture. You're speaking of yourself as well, buddy, since you're Storm Vanguard, but... And Kashiwaki's position allows her to see the entire battlefield from a top-down perspective. To her, it is almost like a team sport. If I remember right, Suzumiya was on the swim team, and Kashiwaki played basketball. Though, come to think of it, Class Rep played lacrosse, and Tama did archery. So both wings have one person who played team sports, and one person who played individual sports. Kashiwagi is the left impact guard, and Tama is the right. Suzumiya is the left gun sweeper, and Class Rep is the right. Man, the captain is incredible. She clearly took our personalities into account when choosing our positions, and she also ensured both ends of the formation had the same amount of combined experience. それに、孤立した時切り捨てられるのは、ストームヴァンガードに限った話じゃない。みんな同じだよ。だけど任務に支障がない限り、それが誰であっても、私は助けるから。あ、金らしいけど、そこまで気負わなくてもいいんじゃ
Well, it's just that Suzumiya seemed really surprised to hear how cut and dry your opinion on abandoning people was. It's a little hard to believe you guys were in the same squad for so long without ever breaching the subject. I mean, in Squad 207B, we were constantly talking about that sort of stuff. Why is that? She must mean class rep, Ayamine, and Maya. But if you never talk about it, everyone is going to develop conflicting viewpoints on how things should be done. The fact that you have never had a big disagreement before is crazy to me. I see. So you just went along with whatever she said then. Then what was it? I am amazed at how pragmatic this girl is. In other words, there was never any reason to express opposing viewpoints, since Suzumiya's approach was more than enough to get them commissioned. And knowing how feisty Suzumiya can be, I could see her getting at least a little defensive if someone suddenly expressed discontent with her way of doing things. But now, after what happened to Sergeant Jin Guji and your fellow squad mates, you finally felt the need to address the issue. I see. I never would have pinned you as a type. No, not at all. If anything, I am pleasantly surprised. I seriously respect you for that. <laughs> Wait, what? The hell is that supposed to mean? Wait, seriously? I always figured that was pretty commonplace in this world, and people like Suzumiya were in the minority. <laughs> How so? We are all prepared for that possibility. Everyone knows we are going to have to make sacrifices in order to win. Yes, I know what you mean. I see. So, I am so used to being around people like Mia and Yuko Sensei, I assumed they were the norm rather than the exception. Oh, you have brothers? I see. He has still got that romanticized view of the military life then. He wants to be a hero to his family or fight the beta to defend the human race. Considering you were good enough to get into this unit, he has got a lot to live up to. Me? Ah, no, no. 
大行な各ごたれみたいなのにうんざりして帝国軍を蹴ってここに志願した口だから。And I guess the real reason you made it into this squadron was because you were chosen as a candidate for the Zero Zero unit. So, then, sir, Kazoku, the Akton, Kokono Nimunayo, Yenai, the Shah. Dakara, Koho no Kokuren, the Rakusta, the Moritaria. Really? Ma, Kuchiniwa, the Sanaikido, Okasa, and Kawa, Sono Hoga, and Shimita. Of course, any parent would feel that way deep down. But is that not kind of the norm? You even said so yourself. Yeah, probably so. I can definitely understand that perspective. I am not capable of accepting the way things are here, but I am trying to face reality without flinching. To a third party observer, it probably looks like the same thing. Still, it is pretty amazing that Kashiwagi can stare at the same cold, hard truths with such a stoic attitude. A cynical eye out? What the hell does that even mean? なんだ。貴様たちまだいたのか。話をするなら飯を食いながらだってできるだよ。ああ、そういえばそうですね。注意たちもまだですよね。一緒にどうです？Kashiwagi may call herself a cynic, but does not seem to make her any less outgoing. That is kind of cool. You would assume someone with an outlook that like that would be more of an unfriendly loner. How did you eat that fast? Yeah, but it has only been 15 minutes. Yeah, Man, I can see Lieutenant Muna Kata eating fast, but you, Lieutenant Kazama, I have a hard time imagining that. Or rather, I do not particularly want to imagine it. いやだ。白金少尉変なこと言わないで。お前が塔子にどんな無双を抱いているか知らないが、この子は私より食うのが早いからな。それが現実だ。I never would have guessed. Hey, Lieutenant Munakara. What the hell was that about? Wait a minute. Are you implying that they are... You know. Still though, they could at least give room some privacy. No, I mean, well, I guess it is their prerogative. It is not like the military prohibits it, so. Oh, 
連携確認してるんだと思うよ。Oh, right. Lieutenant Unakata is a gun interceptor, and Lieutenant Kazama is a blast guard. Those two kind of go hand in hand. What the hell? You are the one who's making all the innuendo laden remarks. <laughs> God damn it. She is totally treating me like a little brother. You got me good this time, but I will have my revenge someday. So, you have a little bit of a little I totally forgot. I was going to take Sumika outside today. Sorry, I have got a special mission from the XO. Sorry. See you later. Sweet. Looks like the coast is clear. This spot will be perfect. Feels better than being cooped up in that dark, stuffy room, does it not? If you do not like it, though, we can always go back. After all, we could not eat in the PX. Not unless everyone else was busy training. I cannot just parade her around in front of the whole unit without Yuko Sensei's permission. None of them know the Zero Zero unit even exists at this point. Does she have the rabbit I made her? Oh, she does. Was not sure how she would take it, given that it is based on a memory I shared with Sumika back in my world. But it looks like she is pretty fond of it. Though I do not want to jump to conclusions and assume it is the reason she responded so naturally yesterday. I would like to believe it is, but that is just wishful thinking for now. Either way, it is really great to see her wearing it. Hell, even if she does not see any deeper meaning behind it, and just thinks it is a cute keychain, that is good enough for me. Well, okay then. Let's have a seat and chow down. In order to perfectly replicate a human body, the Zero Zero unit was designed with a working digestive system and even functional taste buds. I think it is important to have her start using them. <coughs> of course, it is not as though she can actually process the food and absorb its nutrients. But even so, I still think it is important for her to eat proper meals and not just the nutrient paste they developed for the Zero Zero unit. She is never going to think like a human being unless we treat her like one. Even if she was a human being, that's pretty true. Today, we are having the miso broiled mackerel special. Mm, that sounds good. This is one of the best synthetic meals they have got. It is super popular. There are so many people in this world who do not ever get to eat anything like this. It does kind of feel like a waste, since she does not actually need the nutrients, but it is going to help save humanity, so... This is the piece de, resi piece de resistance from the repertoire of the UN military's very own Iron Chef, Mrs. Kyozuka. What do you think? Looks pretty tasty, huh? So kinda. Come on. Food is one of life's few great pleasures, indeed. Takeru-chan wa yorokobi. Mii dashite ru no? We are actually having a normal conversation. She is doing great today. Yes, though there was a time when you guys almost took all the joy out of it for me.
that lunchbox hell and the class cook-off. All those memories from my world feel a lifetime away now. She is eating. She is even using her chopsticks the right way. Way to go, Sumika. How is it? Does it taste good? Sorry, for what? Did Kasumi's habit of apologizing all the time rub off on her? Hi. Yes, you do that. Man, there really is something different about her today. It is almost like she is a completely different person. That sounded almost exactly like the Sumika I remember. I know I should not get all spun up over every little improvement I notice, but still. Nani? Nothing. Sorry. It is too early to assume she is regaining her old self. Giving her that rabbit felt meaningful to me, but I cannot expect too much this soon. My mind is really eager to connect this Sumika with the girl in my memories, but there is a good chance this could all just be coincidence. Yes, glad you like it. Go on, eat up. Regardless, she is still acting like a normal human being, which is a huge step forward. She showed some pretty dramatic improvement last night, too, but nothing quite this natural. But I did push her pretty hard yesterday, so I had better play it safe today. I will not try to goad her into acting like the Sumika I know. I will just talk to her like any random person. When was this? We did? Maya and class rep? Is she getting those names from my memories? She should not know those two in this world. But when did I ever eat me so broiled mackerel with the whole gang back in my world? It was not during the cook-off, and I do not remember it being made in any of the lunches they made. Weird. Actually, maybe she's remembering a time she ate it with this world's version of me. Before. No, wait. It must have been Kasumi. Sumika could not have eaten anything a few weeks back, because she was still just a brain. And she could not have eaten it with the other meat either. This is Mrs. Kyozuka's signature recipe, after all. And Kasumi already knows everyone from Squad 207. So Sumika must have read Kasumi's memories with me. And now she is treating them like her own. Or maybe, Kasumi has been deliberately feeding her those memories to keep her from going insane. Well, shoot. Either way, this is not great news. Now it is practically impossible to know which behaviors are coming from her own personal memories, 
and not from someone else's. Yet, even once Sumika is in better shape mentally, and Kasumi can read her mind again, all these memories will be jumbled together in one big heap. Okay, I think I need to stop worrying about whether her memories line up with mine, and start just interacting with her as she is now. If nothing else, I can at least take advantage of the fact that she has got my memories with Kasumi to come up with some good conversation starters. Yes, for sure. Would not want that. Interesting. So she is convinced that her jumbled up memories are the source of her headaches. Now, if I only I could figure out what specific thoughts take more of a toll on her quantum conductive brain, then we would really be getting somewhere. But right now, she is able to sustain a casual conversation for much, much longer than before. I do not want to experiment with risky topics that might undo that progress. So much for letting it go. Clearly, it is still bugging her. This could pose a problem. Oh, wait. You are right. I do remember that day. Sorry, it just slipped from my mind for a sec. I know. Not cool. Sorry about that. Oh. Just when I thought she was starting to loosen up a bit, she has gone right back to her old blank expression. Still, this is quite a difference from last night's intense mood swings. She may not be showing as broad a spectrum of emotions, but there is definitely some huge changes happening under the surface. In any case, she is making serious progress. Keep it up, Sumika. What? You are all, you are full already? Come on, that is not true. Well, now we are moving in a bad direction. But if I try to force the conversation onto a different topic, she will just dismiss it as pointless. I might even induce another headache if I push too hard. think I had better try to slowly steer this into something at least tangentially related. Hey Sumika, what exactly do you do in training? But is it in a simulator, I mean? よくわかんないけど、ゲームみたいなやつだよ。ほら、タケルちゃんが好きだったさ。a video game. Sumika, you know about Valgaron? So she has been reading my mind. She is taking Kasumi's memories and my memories and adopting them as her own. If that's the case, then even if I try to use those memories to strike up a conversation, I will never truly be take talking to this world, Sumika. I will be talking to an amalgamation of her, myself, and Kasumi. Can I really call her Sumika if her memories are all fabricated? 
Is it really a good idea to use those memories as a base to kickstart her identity? Oh, right. Sounds good. Sweet. Looking forward to it. A lunchbox. Is that another memory of mine she has adopted? Or did she use that used to make me lunch in this world too? Sorry, but I've got field training after this, so I cannot walk you all the way back. I will pop by sometime in the evening. But after that, we are doing night combat training down in the city. And that is going to Lauren really late. Kasumi says she would come pick you up after lunch, so I will hang around with you until then, okay? Sorry, no can do. Now you be a good girl and do not complain, or we will not be able to eat lunch together tomorrow. Stream Elements said, stay thirsty my friends, hydrate. Yes, that is right. I am going about this all wrong. It should not matter whether she resembles my world, Sumika, or this world, Sumika. I am the only one who cares about that. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, that is totally irrelevant, as long as she is unmistakably human. All I need to be focused on is perfecting the zero zero unit so we can actually stand a chance against the beta. If I put my own selfish desires before that, I will be making the exact same mistakes I did before and I cannot let that happen. Right now, humanity, humanity's needs come first. I can work on getting what I want after. The job is done. Kasumi-chan, hayaku konai kana? Subarashi seika janai. Tochou keika toshite wa yuu koto nai wa. Really? Tashikani, 100% ni wa hodo toi kedo, data o miru kagiri, juubun jitsuyo ni taeru suuchi ne. Sukunaku tomo, yotei doori 25 nichi ni 運用評価試験を実施できるレベルよ。よくやってくれたわね。Thanks. I appreciate it. 
25日の評価試験に最終的なゴーサインが出るから明日にでも泉からブリーフィングがあるはずよ。Sorry, I understand the UN's role in all of this, but why would the IJF be involved in the zero zero units evaluation? 明日になれば嫌でもわかるけど、今聞きたいの I would really appreciate that. I want to know as soon as possible so I can plan accordingly. じゃあ、重要なところだけ。詳細は明日、イスミから聞きなさい。OK。ゼロゼロユニットの運用評価試験は、佐渡島で行われるわ。What? Sado Gashima? そうよ。But I thought that was just a practical assessment. That island is full on beta territory. There is a hive there and everything. だからこそ佐渡島なのよ。ゼロゼロユニットの運用目的を考えれば、絶好のロケーションでしょ。This is crazy. You are just going to toss her right into actual combat? 実戦以外にどうやってゼロゼロユニットの実用性を証明できるっていうのかしら But you said she would only be put on the front lines after passing the assessment. What the hell, dude? Were you not the one who kept saying Japan was on the front lines? Okay, but even so, do you not think it's a little early for this? She is not even completely stable yet. Mota Mota Stetara, Alternative Five Suisi Hanga Iki of Kikaswayo, Coco de Ikini Tatami Kakeri Siongarva. I realize that, but Sumika is not even trained in actual TSF yet. She should at least. Dakara Koso, Anta Tatino Butanga Irunjana. Well, yes, but still. どうしたの絶対に彼女を守るんじゃなかったの I mean, I will do my duty, sure, but there's no way in hell we can take out an entire beta hive all by ourselves. 安心しなさい。出撃するのはあんたたちだけじゃないから。さっきも言ったけど、極東国連軍と帝国軍がゼロゼロユニットを守るわ。She did say. She's looking into other options to compensate for our lack of battle ready troops. I guess this is what she was talking about. So it is just a joint operation then. So, you. Scotty, I'm s i n g stuff. After that huge debacle a couple weeks back, I am impressed you convinced them to cooperate on this. オルタネイティブ計画自体は国連直轄だけど、第4計画は日本主導だからね。Right. I remember Under Secretary Tomase mentioning that around the time the coup broke out. But I thought they were more or less forced into being the host country due to the fact that the Yokohama Hive was here, and they just shelled out the funds to establish the base and donated the military tech. オルタネイティブ4は各国の次期計画案の中から日本案が採用されて始まったのよ。知らなかった But that proposal was entirely dependent on your theory, was it not? And you are an agent of the UN forces now. 確かにそうだけど、私はもともと帝国大学量子物理研究所に所属しているからね。Oh, so then. Does that mean your theory is imperial property? Technically? Ingaritz Rio Shiro Nishiro, Jinkak Suchka Nishiro, Cook Hide Kenkyu Stetandakara, Atashkojin no Mono des, they demo Sujiga Tora Nai de Show? I guess not, no. Sereni, Cochran Shodok, they demo, Dion Kakaka Moiti, I get a Kishuko Stereo na Monoyo. Cochran Kikan Shokuni, Sumari. タマセ事務次官と同じ国際公務員ってこと。So in other words, even though you are technically a member of the UN, 
you are still thinking of Japan first and foremost. I know Under Secretary Tomase was. Pretty sure every decision he made was ultimately aimed at improving Japan's future. That does not exactly sound like a cooperative relationship. Sure, I could see the government cooperating with the IJF. Just judging from the coup d'etat incident, they sure as hell do not seem to like us very much. I know soldiers are expected to set aside personal bias in the name of duty, but given that Captain Sagiri was able to stage such a huge rebellion, they have clearly got some serious anti-American and anti-UN elements in the ranks. We've never even practiced alongside the IJF before, and we are jumping straight into a joint operation with them. What makes you think this will not be a total disaster? Sorry, about what? What is she trying to say? I already know the answer by pretending I do not. Or that if you weren't such a dumbass, you would know it. Sure, you're right. That's how those were you and troops fighting alongside the IJF all across the country. We had a typo. America Gun no Kyoko Kainu are you okay that Takedo? Tanumi Mosinai no ni, Akuyako Hikuke the Gretan Dagara. Kicka taking your attached at you at Tokustawane. Sorry, Ni. Anta ga simpai stayed, Mesaki no Saji de Kanjo taking in a rentua, Sono Jiken de Ichimo Dajin ni Saletu Hazakedo. Shkamo.国連軍とはいえ、日本人の部隊がアメリカ軍を差し置いて将軍を救出したことで帝国軍は今とても私たちに好意的。You they signed on to this just for that. I mean, she did mention that it would serve as a huge bargaining chip, but still. XM3 に関してはこの基地に駐留する部隊に試験導入してからなんて身長ぶってたけど本当は喉から手が出るほど欲しいはずだわ The IJF unit on this base. She must mean Lieutenant Tsukuyomi's Imperial Royal Guard unit. Nippon Shudo no Alternative 4 wa umaku iku. Shin Gata OS wa tada de te ni hairu. Higan de aru Sadogashima Hive no haiju wa kanau. Kyo ryuku o kotowaru liyu ga teikoku gawa ni aru ka shira? They could not. So yu koto yo. I see. That explains why Sensei has been so busy lately. She has been meeting with the IJF to draft up a strategy and prepare for this huge operation. But there's one thing that's still bugging me. That's what Yuko Sensei said back when the fighting first broke out. I highly doubt she was a mastermind behind the entire coup d'etat, but it's pretty plain to see that she got a lot out of it. 
clearly she must have known a rebellion was imminent prior to it actually happening, but decided to keep quiet about it and instead made a ton of preparations for it that would spin the outcome in her favor. Which, of course, would imply that she, Fio Roy, was in on it too. No, nothing at all. So? That is exactly what Yuko Sensei would have done. So there is no point in asking for confirmation. Interesting that you could figure this out, but you couldn't figure out the other point. Whatever. Maya once mentioned how important it is to be able to flip a negative situation into a positive one. Yuko Sensei absolutely has that talent. In terms of the quantum causality theory, that would mean that Yuko Sensei is far more apt than most at making subconscious decisions that lead to her ideal timeline. I think it is best that I leave all the political maneuvering and whatnot to her. I do not need to be consistently expressing childish reservations. My job here is to help Sumika. She is what I need to be focusing on right now. Then I can find whatever it is that may be a causality conductor and get rid of it and fix all the worlds I interfered with. I understand why they are participating in the joint operation now. I will trust her discretion and continue to devote all my energy to tuning Sumika. We still have two days before the evaluation. I want to do everything I can before then to stabilize Sumika. Yes, I realize that. Do not worry. But is it not ensuring Sumika's stability was most important? Do you have any idea why she is suddenly so stable? Like, could you tell from her data or my reports? If I know what I am doing right, it will make my job a lot easier. I mean, trust me, I would love for that to be the reason, but how can you be so sure? Why are you about to drop another truth bomb on me? And you actually think I can handle it? Here, I hoped. Here, I figured you were just getting my hopes up. I was convinced she would evade the question before I even asked. ゼロ so you're saying this answer might really upset me? But you trust me enough now that you think I will be able to handle it anyway. Okay then, if you think I've earned your trust, then I'd like you to tell me. I'm testing something, hold on one second. ]確かに微妙な話なんだけど、ゼロゼロユニットもここまで安定しているし、もう種を明かしても大丈夫かしらね? I probably shouldn't be testing things in the middle of stream, but, you know, YOLO. Um, boink. 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 That 
That might actually work. Anyway, anyway. Yes. Your hypothesis? So, イングリス領主論における陰画動体仮説の一つをあんたがバッチリ実証してくれたから彼女の変化には白金が陰画動体であることが大きく関係しているWhat do you mean? あっちの世界の加賀美澄香に陰画動体である白金が関わることであんたに関する記憶が虚数時空間に流出したわねいやしどうように陰画動体である白金が関わることでこの世界の加賀美澄香つまりゼロゼロユニットにその記憶が流れ
あんたが転移の旅にばらまいた記憶と同じようにね虚数時空間にはそういったものと同じような因果情報が無数に存在すると考えられているわそれはそれぞれの世界の記憶そのものから日常的に流出している因果情報よ Yeah, and when fortune towers and psychics predict the future, they are actually using sort of sixth sense that allows them to perceive that information, right? So, no, 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 受け手の能力によって選別され引き寄せられるというわけ。そうかしら。あんたが戻ってくる前のゼロゼロユニットのデータにあっちの加賀美澄の記憶を受け取った兆候は全く確認できないけど。Well, yeah, but what do you expect? She, would, uh, she had only just regained her body and was dealing with extreme sensory overload, not to mention traumatic flashbacks. Is it not possible that this flew under the radar? Tashkani, so remo zero de wanai has a dakido. Kanojo ga shiroga ne o kaiste, atchi no kaga misumika no kyoku uke totta to yu kasetu o hokyo suru, betsu no jire ga aru no yo. You can, but how? いるのよあっちの世界の白金に関わる記憶を持っている人間がしかもその人はあんたと頻繁に接触している当然未来予知や占いの能力なんて持っていない Who is it? Is she talking about Kasumi? 私よ She has Absorb the memories of my worlds, you go sensei. Are you serious? Honto you. Tadashi, Inga no Karui Saiki no Mono Dakene. So then, the reason sensei knew what happened over there without me telling her was not because she had read it in the letter that her other self stuffed in her lab coat pocket. Dakarate. 都合よく思い出せるような代物じゃないのよかなり潜在的な記憶として流入しているからね What do you mean? さっき私が因果のやり取りに順序があるってことあんたに話したって勘違いしてたでしょ Yes あれはあっちの私の記憶とこの世界の私の記憶を別のものだって判別できなかったからなのよ But... You immediately corrected yourself, did you not? Said she told you about it in her letter. I was just trying to get the information from her letter. I see. I know that I was able to get 元の持ち主と同じレベルで鮮明に思い出すことができればはっきり差がわかるんだけどそれは理論上絶対にできないはずだからね。What makes you say that? それは流出させる記憶の関連付けを因果動態が決定したからよ。だからどうしても関連情報に欠落がある。I see. So that's why she could not rack her brain to retrieve the necessary equations to complete her theory. For example, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. What? Should we not be a little more worried about that? I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. 記憶ととししてて思いい出すすことすらできないはずそして万が一何かのきっかけで思い出せたとしてもこの世界の人間はそれを夢か空想だと考えるでしょうね彼女たちは
別の確率世界が存在するなんてことを知りもしないしその姿があんたの言う元の世界だっていう情報も知らない仮に知っていたとしても関連情報の欠落が補えない以上その記憶にまつわる漠然とした思いや印象しか心に残らないはずよ I see Yes, that is kind of how dreams feel Like you would have another dream in which all your friends were elementary scores again, for example It would pretty much be par for the course To the people of this world, memories of a peaceful world without any beta at all Probably would feel like nothing more than a dream. Sadly. Liu knew that the Kyoku was the original to Kubet's got scanning. Kyoku no Fukugen Niva, Kikake to Kanlen Zuke, Ketsrak Joho no Hokanga Hitsio. Kokuma de Hanaseba, Mo Wakar de Sho. Do you mind if I talk, talk myself through this? Dozo. By interacting with me, the zero zero unit absorbs stray memories from the other world, Sumika. And whether romantic or not, we can at least be sure that Sumika had strong feelings for me in this world before I died. Since that emotion co relates with how my world Sumika felt about me, none of these memories feel out of place, so she has begun to adopt them as her own. And while they may have been fragmentary at first, she is slowly filling in the contextual gaps where the images Kasumi has projected to her, and the ones she has read from both of our minds. In other words, we had already given her plenty of contextual information to work with, so she was all set to integrate those memories into her psyche. All she needed was a trigger. And that is why the rabbit plan was a success, right? What, the stuff we had for lunch? Kagami Sumika no reading de Yashiro ni hasse shita Kiyoku no jiko douitsu ka genshou ga 00 unit ni mo hasse suru toyu kakushou o erare ta no yo Kono mama junchou ni ike ba Kono sekai no Kagami Sumika original no Kiyoku mo Imozuru shiki ni kaifu shite iku hazu da wa I see So, basically, we would be working backwards Drawing out her old memories by establishing co relations with the new ones. If it can help her get back her own memories, that will be a huge relief. I know it is a relevant in the grand scheme of things. I kind of felt bad about just overriding them. Tonika Ganta, Imano Tokoro, Atashi no Kitai ni Jubun Kotai Tiru. Shojiki ni Eba, Kansha Sura Stiru. You know, based on what you have just told me, it almost sounds like there was more to me getting this job than just she reacts differently to you. See if you can figure something out. Yeah, I figured you would not do something that crazy. <coughs> Unless there was more to it. So that I can make a There is no way in hell she would have entrusted me with something so important without some sort of rationale. I knew there had to be something she was not telling me. Inga dotai ni yotte hiki oko sareru inga koukan genshou wa diron jou no kanousei toshite wa yosoku sarete ita wa. だから想定しうるあらゆる状況の対策を考えてあっちの世界の私に数式をオーダーしに行くあんたに持たせたのよ。Right. I remember the other you go sensei mentioning that the instructions accounted for the possibility of me running back there to escape from this world and being unable to return. その現象を実際に確認できたのは数式をオーダーしたあんたが戻ってきた後よ。You mean you could not tell immediately? 
そうねあのあと何度か会っているうちに身に覚えのないあんたとの記憶が認識できたのよさっきも言ったけど自分の理論と仮説を知らなければ記憶のバックアップシステムのバグだと思う程度だったわ But how did you manage to confirm they were not yours? あんたが数式を回収してきた転移実験の直後バックアップ装置のログと最新の記憶を比較して記憶の増加を実証したのよ I see So you knew this was happening even way back then In which case I probably would have ended up going back to the other world regardless Even if Sergeant Jinguchi had not died, and I had not run away, since they would have probably made up some half ass excuse about being necessary to complete the Zero Zero unit and save this world, and I would have fallen for it. But, at least if things had happened that way, the other Marimo Chan would not have had to die. So, the other Marimo Chan would not have had to die. 必ずその作業をすることでオリジナルの記憶と流入した記憶を識別して認識していたんだけどさすがにここのところ忙しくてねちょっとサボったせいでさっきみたいな勘違いをしたってわけ。So basically, we can be pretty certain I was the one who brought Sumika's memories back here. Sensei, I do not mean for this to sound critical, but Why did you not just tell me all of this when you first gave me this tuning assignment? I mean, I feel like it would have helped me bring the zero zero unit closer to completion in a much more efficient manner. Well, I can definitely understand that, but it still feels a little off. So, Kashida. What I'm about to say is probably going to sound conceited, but please do not take it the wrong way. Based on everything you have just told me, you could not possibly have tuned the Zero Zero unit without my cooperation. Well, even back when Sumiko was still a brain, you knew how unstable her psyche was from Kasumi's readings. There is no way you would have selected her as the candidate to convert into the Zero Zero unit unless you were positive you would be able to stabilize her after the fact. And yes, I recognize that you completed the procedure after I had already run away. So maybe you could have managed without me. It is entirely possible that you could have gotten her up to a bare bones level of functionality just by giving her a convincing artificial body and projecting the images Kasumi had already taken from me. But I really do not think you would have gambled on this unless you knew for a fact she would be able to carry out her mission as the Zero Zero unit. <laughs> the only way I could see you pursuing this approach is if you knew ahead of time that if I ever tried to run away, I would eventually come back to this world. Of course, that is not to say that you planned on me running away, or on Sergeant Jinguji's death, for that matter. But you are definitely the kind of person who finds a way to take advantage of events, no matter how disastrous they might seem. And more importantly, I have seen firsthand just how meticulous you are in the planning process. Anything that could possibly go wrong, you have got countermeasures for. In retrospect, it is actually pretty amazing that they managed to blindside her with Alternative Five's enactment in the other timeline. 
It is possible you only let me run away because you already had a contingency plan for how to do this without me. But from what I have seen, I sincerely doubt that. You told your other self how to send me back here and lied to her to insert Shumika's memories would be sucked into this world. You made up an excuse to explain my absence to the rest of the unit and kept my room just the way I left it. You modified the transfer device so nobody would forget me while I was in the other world. You did not cancel the work being done on my Shiranui. You still had them ship it out for me. The fact that you made all these arrangements seems to imply that you are banking on me coming back from the very beginning. Which is why I have a hard time believing you just happened to let me go and then just happened to revise your plans to include me once I got back. Anyway, that is all I wanted to say. You do not have to confirm or deny any of it. Because I do not need to know the answer, all I need is to do what I came here to do. Yeah, unless she is the reason you are a out conductor. だけど、大元の質問には答えておくわ。今後の調律の参考になるかもしれないけど。ファイアナフ。客体世界において白金への思いの強さに比例して因果動態の影響を受けるという現象は理論的には予測できなかったのよ。それを知ったのは I see. So she did not learn that from the memory she absorbed, then. だから、記憶の流出と逆の肯定をたどる因果動態を通じての記憶の流入にも白金への思いが強く影響する可能性があると予測できるわ。もしあんたがあの時すべての事情を知っていたら、流入した記憶を関連付けられていない。精神的に不安定な状態の彼女がリーディングでそれを読んだ時、その事実をどう判断するかは予測できない。Yes, good point. だから彼女の記憶の関連付けができるまではあんたには話さないって決めてたのよ。そしてそれは今日達成された。But I have been treating this tuning like a mission. And carefully calculating a lot of what I say and do around her. Would she not have seen those thoughts too? So you get a Anta wa Kagami Sumika ni tai suru den ai kanjo o zero ni wa shinakata hazu. She jo ga arutte, dodo to it tita wa yine. Yes. Hakiri you get a Ikura koibito ni so kuri demo. Futsu no ningen wa. 作り物に恋愛感情は抱かないものよ。正直に言えば、加賀美澄香の外見と精神を持ったゼロゼロユニットをあんたが憎む可能性の方が高いと思っていたわ。だからこっちも慎重になった。あんたが加賀美澄香と
2001. And that's the end of chapter 8. No tears left to shed. We're on chapter 9 now, I guess. Next to last chapter, I believe. Next to last chapter. Not, not that that's saying much, because some of these chapters are pretty long, eh? I am exhausted. I stayed up so late looking at the data from Kasumi's readings, I hardly slept. Just let me sleep a bit longer, at least until the wake-up call. Hey. Kasumi, what are you doing? Is freezing. Why? <laughs> Sumika? Takeru-chan, No, that's not it at all. What are you doing here? Why are you the one waking me up? Hmm. No, I did not mean it like that. Holy shit, she is acting even more unlike Sumika than she was yesterday. She is almost indistinguishable from the real thing. What is? I Yes, totally. Why do you ask that? Does it not feel like that? Oh. No, it was not a dream. That much, I can assure you. I see. So not all of the borrowed memories have been fully integrated yet. Kasumi has been waking me up every morning, though the chances are she only got the idea from reading Sumika's mind while she was still a brain, and making those memories her own. Either that, or she ran from my memories of Sumika doing it in my world, or a combination of both. Anyway, I am guessing Kasumi must have projected that image into this Sumika, or Sumika must have read it herself. Well, I have got a full day of training ahead of me, both simulator and field exercises. Shit, I should not have said that. Wait, that did not set her off? That feels like a really huge step forward. <laughs> what is wrong? Another headache? These headaches used to lead to a panic attack, or throw her into a fit of rage aimed at the beta. But today, it is like she is hardly even phased. I cannot believe it. She is not freaking out. At all. This is incredible, Sumika. Want to talk to Yuko Sensei about it? I will come with you. Yuko Sensei? Sensei Why not? Sensei uh, okay, she is clearly getting confused with my memories now, right? No, wait. Maybe it's something that leaked over from the other Sumika. Or both again. 
I think you are getting a little mixed up. Yuko Sensei is the closest thing we've got to a school nurse here. Yes, and she is a pretty good one, too. Cool. I will go with you. Come on, do not apologize. It's not your style. <laughs> Guess she really cannot tell the difference between her own memories, the ones she absorbed from the other Sumika, and the ones from my original timeline. It's like Sensei was saying yesterday, she is trying to piece them all together into a single cohesive framework. Maybe these headaches are a result of her noticing contradictions in these destroying memories. ブリーディングを始める前にファイトエピソード<笑> 在日国連軍及び帝国本土防衛軍との大規模共同作戦だ。作戦名は、高21号作戦。これは、佐渡島廃部の帝国軍戦略故障、高25号目標に由来する。作戦実施は、来る12月25日。すでに国連、帝国両
ここ数日の訓練にも組み込まれていたものだ。Wait, seriously? I had no idea. I guess that makes sense though. The captain already knew we had a big operation coming up, and I would not be surprised if the first lieutenants were informed in about it as well. I cannot imagine they would not adjust the training regiment to prepare for it, especially with all these recruits. That is a good question. If the whole point of this is to test Sumiko's mind reading capabilities, we are going to need to get pretty damn close. But we shouldn't need to actually go inside the thing, right? Saiyak no bai wa sore mo ari eru ga, konkai no nimmu de wa sotei gai da. Anshin shiro. Tashi wa di, dou shite mo te yuu nara, atashi mo tsukiyau kedo? Ye, endo shite okimasu. I see, so it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. But we are still going to have to get pretty close to the hive. Otherwise, we will not be able to get the vital information you post to see us looking for. Although, this could also just be a pretty basic test, I guess. It is finally over. Nothing but mock battles and teamwork exercises from dawn till dusk, and right before the big operation, no less. I think the captain's perfectionism is starting to get a little out of hand. Normally I could handle a rigorous schedule like this, but today I am just beat. I've been spending so much time reviewing customers' reading logs and making that Santa rabbit. I have hardly slept at all recently. This cannot be good for my health. As a surface pilot, I am being pretty irresponsible. <laughs> Meanwhile, you sound like you are still raring to go. On it, Chief. I am pathetic, I know. No surprise that the first lieutenants are all used to the captain's hellish training regimen by now. Clearly, it is intended to test our mental fortitude as well. Lieutenant Kazama, you are such a sweetheart. Hayase Chui wa sentou ni seiteki kaikan o kanjiru issue no hentai da. Dakara kunnen wa kanajo ni totte jikoi no yona mono dakara na. Where the hell did that come from? Bullshit. Well, serves you right. Oh, hey, thanks. I really appreciate it. Oh, God. This is that nasty ass drink the captain gave me a few days back. Oh no, it's just. Well, I know the captain drinks his stuff, and if Lieutenant Kazama is singing his praises, then it must be good for you. Ah, no kidding. Sounds like you are quite the health nut. 
ってそれも A 氏の大切なお仕事の一つですもの Well, she is right about that. And the best medicine is always the hardest to swallow, as they say. Man, I could really stand to learn a few things from her. なのにそれがそんなにおいしい飲み物でかなってしまうなんてちょっと後ろめたいわねあら嫌だわミサエさん先に行ってしまうなんてひどいそれじゃあ白金少尉お先に OK see you around There must be something seriously wrong with you tend to Kazama's taste buds めずらしいこともあるものね。白金がへばるなんて。ほんとだ。大丈夫タケルは特殊任務との掛け持ちだからな。まして、今日の訓練内容では致し方なかろう。I am fine. It is no biggie. I am just taking a little breather. 今日の早瀬注意の機動連携、すごかったからね。特に K さんは注意のバックアップだったから相当疲れたんじゃないそうだねストームヴァンガードは特に機動力が勝負ですからね But yes, those exercises were a nightmare Though I guess they probably kicked up a notch to guess ready for the real thing 確かにかなり疲れたなブリーフィング前に一休みしたいのでな私は先に失礼するぞ私も。OK、See you。じゃあね、タケルさん、あとでね。Later。ちょっと、本当に力抜けちゃっても、しっかりしてよ。君はストームバンガードなんだからね。I know, I know. You are still spunky as ever, I see. Though I would expect no less of Lieutenant Hayase's aspiring protege. Good to see there. Are we are we good? I just noticed we just connected for some reason. It looks like we're still good. Maybe. I have no idea why we would have disconnected just now. But it looks like my actual internet went out for a moment. That's pleasant. Uh, that, that's, you know, that's really pleasant. Hmm. Well, hopefully it was just a fluke. Because we appear to be back now, so that, that's good. That being said, it also looks like we might be dropping frames like mad. Or maybe that was just from when we were disconnected just now. What are you laughing about? Ah, so you got to me. Not to push down. She's a little bit of a nanny, tell her that you are. But she's a kinny girl. I have shower, be tasty. Just she'll go there, my daughter. Ah, don't the mate. I told you this is not funny. Damn you, Kashiwaki. 
do not think I'm just going to let this slide. A little revenge is definitely in order. I know just how to do it. Hey, Kashiwagi, you feeling a little thirsty? Good, she has taken the bait. Well, if you want, you can have this. Lieutenant Kazama gave it to me, but I'm really not all that thirsty. Oh, totally is all yours. You fool. This stuff tastes like rat poison. One sip and you will be begging for mercy. Sorry, but I am fresh out. Guess it is just not your day. Trust me, you lucked out big time. You do not want anything to do with that stuff. Well, she asked for it. Cannot say I did not warn her. But man, it is surprising to see that everyone is still so up. Okay, are we back? Are we back? I do not know why we just crashed out, but that was just not cool at all. I do believe we are back. Okay. It was weird because my actual internet didn't go out. Like the box, it just seems like my computer just stopped being able to read the internet for some reason or something. Because my phone could access the internet. But but my computer just, just failed to notice the internet for some reason. That was weird. Never had to happen before and hopefully it will never happen again. For most of us, this is going to be our first hive related operation. Only the first lieutenants and second lieutenant Kazama have prior experience with this. Sure, we are not spearheading the assault or anything, but that does not mean this mission is not highly dangerous. Suzumiya and Kashiwaki have more experience than the rest of us from Squad 207. Our only run-ins with live combat were during the coup d'etat attempt and the beta ambush during the XM3 trials. But we were not armed during the trials. Technically, that probably does not even count as combat experience. And the coup incident only gave us an experience fighting other humans, though it definitely still took huge emotional toll on our squad. In that sense, fighting the beta might actually be easier for these guys. I think I get it now. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All of my squad mates are born and raised in this world, so risking their lives in the struggle against the beta just comes with the territory. Meanwhile, I have spent a few years here, and it definitely shows. For these guys, it must have been a huge creature culture shock to have to go to war with other human beings. 
whereas back in my world, those were the only kind of wars we had, so it did not faze me at all. They're less conflicted about fighting the Veda, although that does not mean they are not afraid of death, of course. I mean, Sergeant Chinguji says, pretty common for pilots to wet themselves during their first encounters. Still, they find strength in the knowledge that their sacrifice is going to save countless lives, so they will not be dying in vain. It is how they are able to stay positive like this, even in the face of adversity. And look at me now. Even I am feeling remarkably calm about all of this. Sure, I had to go to hell and back to get to this point, but I think I have finally caught up to everyone else in terms of mental fortitude. Well, no, I have still got a ways to go. I have to destroy whatever it is that made me a causality conductor and undo the damage I did to the other world by running away. I have finally found my purpose here, something that only I can do. But like Lieutenant Hayase said, I cannot be too focused on the bigger picture. I need something more tangible, too. A personal goal I can actually achieve. And I think I have found one. I'm going to protect this world, Sumika. I'm going to keep the zero zero unit safe. It might not be the most selfless Extreme goal, elements. Set. but I think it is the main thing Unicorn keeping Turtle me sane right now. Unicorn Turtle is now live. Streaming Muv Love Alternative. Let's play Muv Love Alternative Part Seven. Head Pat. I do not think there's anything wrong with that.諸君も知っての通り本日未明国連軍第11軍司令部及び帝国軍参謀本部より甲21号作戦が発令されたサドガシマにある β杯甲21号目標制圧を目的とする国連と帝国の大規模合同作戦だなお本作戦は気象条件
Whichever shells they intercept first, some of those anti-laser rounds will get close enough to create a massive heavy metal cloud, protecting the next wave of shelling from the lasers. That is a pretty solid sat strategy. Although I cannot say it is the most eco-friendly plan, they will not use G-bombs because of their negative effects on the environment, but polluting the atmosphere with heavy metals is totally fine. It is like how nukes are bad, but the depleted uranium rounds our TSFs are use are A-OK. -okay. Cannot say I understand that logic, but maybe it's just because I grew up in a peaceful... No, not necessarily. As far as I know, there's tanks in our world that do that too. この段階で艦隊の砲弾消耗は7割。これは極東国連軍と帝国軍の砲弾備蓄総量の50%だ。だが地表に展開していたベータはレーザー種に限らずその We are using that much ammo on a single forward base. I guess they would just overwhelm us with sheer numbers otherwise. But if, this takes this, but if it takes this much firepower to get rid of one minor hive, I cannot imagine how we could ever take back all of Asia. I am starting to see why some people just want to cheap off the entire continent. They are going to charge right into the enemy. Holy shit! The Empire is pouring nearly half of all of its resources into this operation. I mean, the shells, the ships, the tanks, the TSFs. These numbers are insane. How do you even unload a unit that huge? Are they going to have to shuttle them over from Niigata in multiple trips? No, Sadogashima is close enough that TSFs could fly there from the mainland themselves. But that is only going to be possible if we gain any air superiority. And the initial landing units would definitely need to bring a supply of propellant for them. Well, in any case, it looks like we might just have enough manpower to counter their reinforcements after all. メタ軍の増援を目の前に引きつけた後、作戦は第三段階へ行こう。両津湾沖に展開した IO は入ジャージ水売り、イリノイ、ケンタッキーの5隻を機関とする国連太平洋艦隊と、ヤマト武蔵
佐渡島へ膠着した後高21号目標内部へ突入第二目的の達成を目指す The secondary objective to take control of the hive or at least gather as much intel as possible 突入部隊の第四層への到達を確認した後ウイスキー隊が順次突入高21号目標の占領を目指す I wonder if there are prisoners in the Sadogashima Hive. People who were captured by the Beta, like Sumiko was. If they are having the UN forces head in first, it is probably because they are hoping to find others like her. If they did, they could make a second or even a third zero zero unit. That's, you know, that's pleasant to think about. Plus, with all those rare beta materials down there, I'm guessing they would much rather capture the hive than just destroy it. If my suspicions are correct, then this operation was definitely planned by some die hard alternative force supporters in the UN. In which case, this really might be a golden opportunity to keep the alternative five supporters at bay, just like Yuko Sensei said. エコー隊は突入作戦の支援に当たる佐渡島周辺の海底に展開しているであろうベータ軍の最上陸に備えるのださて作戦がこの段階を迎えるといよいよ諸君の出番となる突入部隊が消息を絶った場合も同様だはい続きをよろしく頼むは今朝も言ったように高21号作戦における我が部隊の任務は直接的なベータとの戦闘が目的ではないオルタネイティブ・フォー司令部より試験的に戦線投入される新型兵器の支援及び護衛である Yes, looks like they are still not calling it the Zero Zero Unit Though I have to say it feels a little weird that they are referring to her as a weapon Well, I remember from our lectures on military history that stuff like a cipher decryption devices were often categorized as secret weapons, so I guess it's not too big of a stretch. In the first time, the most important thing is that 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 the most important t h i In other words, even if we see our allies begging for help, we are just going to have to leave them to die. To a ye, Sadogashima Zenki got the Kinoshi Hai Chi Ki Ari Jo, so who say that him pat Sukoto got your soul salary. Yamuna Kosen s h a b a i w a Atono Goe Nimu Nisma, Zandama, Tsunami, Furnish, Okunda, Kunda, Nebu, Yatiruga, Hoshi, Yamuna, ザンダンは常に降るにしておくんだ。訓練でもやっているが、砲弾や装備の補給は戦域各所にばらまかれる兵装補給用コンテナで行うこと。ビーコンを頼りにすれば、すぐに見つかるはずだ。これは大規模作
Re-entry shells. Right, we went over those in one of her lectures. Drop units use heat-resistant armored capsules as split into and fall away prior to impact. These halves then crash into the Earth's surface, opening up holes in the stab that allow infiltration to begin much closer to the main shaft.もちろん、衝撃波や飛散物には十分警戒しろ。Wait, neutralize as in, like, destroy it? You telling me Sumika's TSF has enough firepower to just blow the whole thing to smithereens? You cannot be serious. その後、ウィスキー隊が突入し、残存するベータを相当。続いて我々も、ハイブの情報収集任務に当たる。作戦終了後は、48時間以内に横浜基地に帰還する。今の内容と作戦の各段階における撤退の手順についてはいいな。はい。はい。ourselves. I am really hoping she will explain what the captain meant about the new weapon neutralizing the hive. Does that not imply that the new weapon is not the Zero Zero unit herself so much as the TSF she will be piloting? Well, either way, there is no way a single TSF could possibly destroy an entire hive by itself. Right? I mean, last I heard it sounded like they were almost considering disarming her entirely. I know they made her a special TSF, but I was just picturing a big multi-seater or something. <笑>はっきり言うけど、高21号作戦は新兵器のテストのために計画されたのに。各自その辺を正確に認識してちょうだい。帝国軍も極東国連軍も全て新兵器の護衛だと言っても過言じゃない。<笑> むこうもそれを承知しているわ。逆に言えば、それだけ私たちの新兵器が期待されているってこと。そこにはあんたたちの働きも含まれている。いいわね。はい。じゃあ始めるわ。あんたたちが守るのは人類を滅亡の危機から
activate a charged particle cannon? Gravity control? You mean to tell me that this world has had that kind of technology for over 20 years? そんな欲張りな要求仕様だったから、こんなデカブツになったのね。結局完成せず、87年に送られて、理由は簡単。高重力機関開発のスピンオフ技術で、もっとお手軽で量産も簡単な兵器が開発されちゃったのね。その兵
家電粒子砲は光学兵器じゃないから発射の際に反動が発生するそれを打ち消すためにかなり大きいラザフォードフィールドが機体の真後ろに発生するからね以上の注意点を踏まえて護衛任務について具体的な注文をするわまず1点目家電粒子砲発射体制に入って以降機体底面および後方以外のラザフォードフィールドが消滅する2点目家電粒子砲発射後再発射までの約4分間機体底面以外のラザフォードフィールドが消滅する4 minutes that is even longer than the heavy laser class needs to recharge つまり砲撃を続ける限り底面と発射時の方法以外にラザフォードフィールドは形成されないってことね装甲剤は10レーザー級の単照射は2分弱レーザー級なら7分は耐えられる設計だけど複数以上の同時照射では当てにならない数値よそれに機体に直接取り憑かれることも致命的近接防御用の兵装は一切装備してないからね I see So normally the Rutherford fields make it all but invulnerable, but since they are not on at all times, we have to help protect it. とにかくこのタイミングにベータを寄せ付けないようにしてちょうだいそれがあんたたちの最も重要な任務だからね了解あとはそうね大丈夫だとは言っても手記に負担がかかるからなるべくレーザー照射させないようにしてちょうだい了解まあ作戦が順調にいけばそんな事態にはならないけどとりあえず以上です。It has definitely got a few weak points, but the Susano is clearly in a league of its own as a piece of weaponry. Hard to believe Sumika is going to be the one piloting it. At any rate, I am pretty sure it's still the Zero Zero unit they are trying to evaluate here, even if the official purpose of the operation is it as a Susano. I can see her piloting a TSF, but this behemoth? Got to admit, I am a little worried. Alternative 4の製品はこの作戦の結果が大きく影響するわ。頼んだわよ。了解すでに本作戦は発動している。諸君、明朝の出撃に備え、万全な準備を整えたまえ。以上だ。ヘレ私は帝国海軍の作戦機関従順最上から指揮を取るからじゃあ佐渡島で会いましょう先生 is going to be on the front lines too is she just required to be there to monitor the zero zero units practical assessment or is it that she is as, or is that just a sign of how competent she is in the susan susano 2型の作戦コードは A02 とする。高21号作戦と我々の任務に関するブリーフィングは以上だ。明朝の古州は丸二丸丸とする。夕食後は身辺整理をしてさっさと寝るんだ。いいな。Put our affairs in order. That seems like a pretty pessimistic way to go into this thing. Though I guess it's no different from when they had us write out our wills the other day. そうだ。遺品を受け取った者が悲しむようなものは処分するか分けておけ。Things that might upset them. Like my porn. <laughs> The hell. What does she mean by that? いいから整理だけはしておけ。無事に帰ってくれば済むことだ。Yes, ma'am. 例えばだ。お前が早瀬注意のシャワー室を隠し撮りしていたとする。Who the hell would do a thing like that? What is this chick's problem? Come on, quit joking around. Not you two. いかがわしい写真とかピンナップとにかく
受け取った遺族ががっかりするようなものは分けておきなさいってことよ。So that's what she meant. In that case, I've got nothing to worry about. なんだ、隠さなくてもいいぞ。そういう年頃なんだし、恥ずかしいことじゃない。I just said I do not have any. Besides, what about you? I bet you have got a ton of stuff you need to set aside. I am tired of being the voyeur here. So, 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 What are you saying? Shirogane Shoei, Anatawa, Chui no Jodani Hano Sigirkara, Omosirogarate Irnoyo. Mosco Shuma Kunagasco to the Kiriba, Karakawaranak the Simono. I'll do my best, Lieutenant. Thanks. なんだトーコが良かったのかそれならそうと早く言えばいいのに。Yes, ma'am. Duly noted. ほらほらやれ合うのは夕食の後にしろ失礼しましたよしでは各自速やかにハンガーに向かい機体のチェックを済ませるんだいつもより入念にだぞ了解以上、解散 The Susanu Mark II. I cannot believe Alternative 4 had such a massive secret weapon up its sleeve. And as far as I can tell, Sumika is definitely going to be the one piloting it. I thought the zero zero unit was supposed to be reading the beta's minds, though. Was it actually designed to pilot the colossal death machine? Guess I had better go see you, go sensei, once I am done tuning for the day. She might be too busy to meet with me, but I have got all sorts of questions to ask her about Sumika and the Susanu. Susano. Shirogane Shoi. Lieutenant Sukuyomi. It has been a while. I did not realize she came back. I have not seen her since she left to escort the Shogun back to the capital. Though, to be fair, I was not in this world for much longer after that. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all your help during the coup d'etat. Really, it was nothing. So, I was going to thank you for all your help. Oh, thank you very much. Right, now I get why I did not recognize her the instant I heard her voice. I am not used to her addressing me that way. Up until now, she has always called me by my full name. So, then, Jinguji Gunso no Ikkin wa Kaisu Gaisu no Zanen da tana. Thanks. あの者は立派な共同官であり優秀な英子でもあった共に戦ったのはかの事件のみであったが長年の戦友を失った思いだ I can see why even when Lieutenant Sukuyomi and Major Walken were at odds with each other Sergeant Jinguji made an effort to explain where the Empire was coming from while staying true to her position as a UN soldier Yes, 
Yes, I did. Yuko since they told her about that. Well, she probably did not spill the fact that I was in another world, at least. She said she would take that to her grave. Wait, but what if Lieutenant Tsukuyomi found out something about my mission? Some other way. I am alright, yes. Wait, she talked to Meiya too? Oh god, maybe she is here to chew me out for throwing myself on her before I ran away. First Lieutenant. Nanda. Am I in trouble again? So no, it is just that you typically do not come talk to me unless you have got something to scold me about. Oh no worries, I can spare some time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Man, Hydrate. this feels weird. And not just because of the way she is addressing me, either. I do not feel the same tension in her demeanor. It is like she has loosened up a bit. Understood. Everyone's still here doing checks on their TSFs, so they might be able to listen in on us. And since I've got no clue what she is about to tell me, I am more than happy to find some place with a bit more privacy. I know just the spot. Follow me. Yeah, this should be good enough. Can I imagine anyone eavesdropping on us up here? So, what is it you want to talk about, First Lieutenant? I thought something was off. So that is why. For someone who is always so strictly business. It must be something pretty serious for her to ask me for something personal. A personal favor? Like what? Could this be about the XM3? No, I highly doubt that. ぐまいであるのは重々承知している。ましてこれまでの貴様に対する言動を顧みれば恥知らずな物言いだということも。ファーストルティネット。情けない話ではあるが、それでも貴様にしか頼めない。貴様にも任務がある。その上でできる限り
that she knew Maya would accept any gift as long as it came from me. What the hell? She is bowing down to me? Hang on a second. First Lieutenant, please, this is not necessary. <laughs> I mean it. Even if you had not asked, I would never let Maya do anything reckless. So please, raise your head. Seriously though, what is this all about? It is not like you at all. Did something happen or what? Yes, of course. She knows I am supposed to be dead. It only makes sense for her to be suspicious. She wants to trust me. First Lieutenant. Nanda. What causes change of heart? Oh wow, her highness spoke so highly of me, she even caused Lieutenant Tsukuyomi to have a change of heart. Honestly, I do not feel remotely worthy of her praise. But I could have been a secret agent putting on an act just to earn Her Highness's trust. That is what you would have assumed before, right? <laughs> Holy shit, did she just laugh? だが、貴様がどこぞの工作員だとすると、桁外れが無能であろう。名屋様を生かすべき最大の機会を見送り、手にした殿下の信頼も全く利用しないのだからな。あるいは最高に優秀であるがゆえに、未だ無能を演じている
She was watching me like a hawk from her Takemiki Tsuchi during the last operation. I am guessing she is trying to convince herself that she will not need to do that anymore. What do you mean? メイヤ様が承認し、オルタネイティブ計画直属の特殊任務部隊に属した以上、いかにこの絵といえど、常にお側に控えるわけにはいかないのだ。Why not? Is that not what you have been doing this whole time? Are you telling me your unit is not going to be involved in this operation? キサマたちはもはや訓練部隊ではない。but I mean, Japan is alternative force host country, right? Is that not why they stationed you here to begin with? <laughs>貴様のその言動が演技でないことを祈るばかりだ。貴様がはかりごとを秘め、まさにこの機会を伺っていたのであれば。what do you mean? But why? But why? Wait, really? What? And all of this happened while I was over in the other world? And I guess the IJF's officially dubbed it the 12-5 incident? News to me. この結果には私も驚いている。これも決起した者たちの執念なのか。Yes, this is exactly what Captain Sagiri wanted. But still, why would they give her different bodyguards though? No one knows Maya better than これは私が解任されたという話ではないのだ。今後 what? How could they just abandon her like that? You cannot be serious. Why the hell would they do that? I mean, Maya is a relative of the Shogun, is she not? What? Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? Kisama, I only have a vague understanding about how politics work in this world from my experiences in the previous timeline. I mean, I thought the Grand Shogun was the most powerful person in all of Japan, right? Is she not? Was that not specific enough? Honestly, I never cared that much about politics, which is the main reason I never asked and say about any of this. <laughs> In the public eye. だが、本当に何も分かっていないようだな。やはり貴様はこの国の人間ではないのだな。Damn it! Of all the times to slip up, I did not think this stuff about Maya and Her Highness was going to come up again. I did not bother learning any more because I did not think it would change anything between Maya and me. First Lieutenant, 
I. I'm a Sara Sorega Vacata to Corode, Doshi Omonaika. Hontoni, you know Nanoka Muno Nanoka, Yoku Akaran Otokoda, Samawa. First Lieutenant. それでもメイヤ様のことを貴様に委ねたくなるのはなぜなのだろうな She trusts me that much She said it was just because the Shogun believes in me But it sounds like it is more about how much I mean to メイヤ And yet I cannot just tell her the truth about where I am from It would only make her even more suspicious of me. I am really sorry, First Lieutenant. I cannot tell you anything. I understand. I'm a soldier, and I'm working for the Shogun. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Sorry. Then, let me tell you about the Shogun Shok. If you're a Japanese person, Thanks. I appreciate it. The Regency Council. Okay。She is completely convinced I am a foreigner, though I guess I am in a sense. So, whatever. ただ大統領とは違い。聖位大将軍は選挙で選ばれるものではない。元数府を構成する御席家の党首集からお一方が皇帝陛下より任命されるのだ。Sorry, what are the five regent houses? She already thinks I am a foreigner, so I might as well keep asking questions. 千八百六十七年、欧米列強の脅威に抗するために。東幕派大名と将軍家が大同団結し、大政奉還が成立した。知っているか ？Yeah, totally. Oh great, modern history. I did not even take history as my sophomore elective back in my world, man. How the hell would I know anything about it in this one? その際、元数法を設置した後部員。イカルガ、西園寺、九条、高津笠の五大武家を五石家と称するのだ。Guess I never knew about any of these little discrepancies between our world's histories. Those who say probably would have pointed them out if I had gone into more detail about mine. But why would I do that? I do not really have an interest in the history or politics of any world, honestly. And I mean, it never put me at a disadvantage in the previous timeline, though that might just be because this is a UN military base. Shogun was at the time, the Kokuji was not able to do it, but the Haisen and his military government 名誉職にも等しい存在とされてしまっていたのだ。Guess she is talking about the post-war occupation of Japan by America, and after all that, they even broke off the security treaty in this world. No wonder there is so much contempt for America over here. So the Shogun used to have all the power, but then the Americans came along and stripped it all away to make us easier to control. その通りだが、殿下がいかに国事全権代行とはいえ、帝国が立憲君主制である以上
その牽制はもともと一定の制限を受けているのだ。A constitutional monarchy. だが、ベータの地球公開以降、非常時という名目でその制限範囲を軍部が拡大解釈し、政府もそれに引っ張られていたのが実情だ。こたび、その拡大解釈が是正され、将軍職本来の権限が殿下に返上されたのだ。I see. So basically, the military and their allies in the government had commandeered the shogun's power, using the war as an excuse to further extend their authority. But wait a second. If the shogun has all that power again, then it makes it even less sense to take away Maya's bodyguards, does it not? 我が部隊の解任を決定したのは上大将だ。殿下ではない。But can she not just veto that if she is? 先ほども言ったが、帝国は絶対君主制ではない。全権代行である将軍はもちろん、たとえ皇帝陛下であっても、個人の好き勝手にはできない。Then why does everybody seem to think they can? そのような印象を与えるように仕組まれていたからな民がそのように感じているよしは為政者にとってその方が都合が良いからだ非常時に人心を束ねる方策としてな特に軍上層部の強硬派は対ベータ戦における統帥権の独立を図るために殿下をそのように見せておく必要があったのだ Then not only was she merely a fearhead, but they could also use her as a scapegoat if things go south. Wow, I think I finally understand exactly why Captain Sagiri rebelled. And yet. But still, if they allowed her to give Maya bodyguards before, then why can she not do the same thing now that she's supposedly got? More authority. It makes no sense. So, there was a bit no one died. Isn't a mayor, some of the Okareta or Tachibani or the Tokurega Nitomerate Tani Sigina. Somebody, then cut to his sister to Norigaiga, it is the Tanda. And now they do not, so they are just abandoning her. So, the reason they are removing you guys from your post is because Maya is no longer valuable to them? Tashkani Sorewa Matakuno Mukanke Devanai Daga Kotabi no Sotiva Makoto no Imide, Denka or Monzuru Taisei to Natta Ga Yue no Koto Nanoda. That makes zero sense whatsoever. Hitotabi de Are, Shujin Kanshi no Naka. 殿下の身代わりに立たれた名屋様の存在は今や将軍家いや上大将上層部の頭痛の種となっている何故名屋様が今のようなお立場にあるかを考えればわかろう古より後部院家には双子は世を分ける意味子だとするしきたりがあるのですそのしきたりによってあの者は生まれてすぐに当園の光留家に養子に出されたのです少なくともアメリカ軍に名屋様の存在が知られていることは間違いない Oh yes The Americans went back to retrieve the remains of their fallen soldiers and TSFs did they not? Assuming the hard drives were intact they would have plenty of audio and video evidence 上大将はアメリカ諜報機関に名屋様の執事を探られ、先の事件のような計りごとに担ぎ出されまいかと恐れているのだ。Wait, the Shogunate cannot be trying to get Maya. No, that is probably exactly what they are doing. 一二五事件の際に、貴様の体にこの絵が随伴した理由は、予測される殿下の警護のためという理由で説明がつくだがこたびの作戦で貴様の部隊にこの絵が随伴する名目は何もないもっとも貴様の部隊は
オルタネイティブ計画直属の極秘任務部隊門外漢のこの絵が随伴するなど軍律上不可能であるがな In other words, now that Maya has been disowned by the House of the Shogun, there is no reason to protect her. So that is why I did not see Lieutenant Tsukuyomi around when I first got back. So then, the whole reason Maya got promoted was because the Shogunate is hoping she will get killed in battle. Maya probably knew this would happen as soon as she got commissioned. Actually, I am sure she knew it from the moment she volunteered to take the Shogun's place. But of course, she had never she would never just throw her life away for no good reason. I am sure she would want a meaningful death. To give her life in battle, fighting in the name of her highness and her countryman. So now, more than ever before, she is going to be actively looking for ways to put herself in danger. A chance to sacrifice herself for the sake of the mission. That is just the kind of person she is. And that is why you came to me. <laughs> you are so worried about her that you defied the will of the Shogunate. And bowed your head to the likes of me. Is that not right? <laughs> that must be why you told me the real reason they are not guarding her anymore. I know you would never let that slip otherwise. <laughs> God damn it. This is all so wrong. She cares more than anyone about the Shogun in her country. She will list her life as Her Highness's body double. This is not fair. This is just too cruel. <laughs> And I am sure they both know all about this too, do they not? Muron. God damn it! How could they just accept this pointless cruelty? They did not choose this life. I guess this means she really is alone now. All she has left is the doll Her Highness gave her. So that is why she was so so insistent about that. Yes, do not worry. I will pretend I do not know a thing. <laughs> I will not tell Maya you came out here to see me. At the very least, she will not hear it from me. There is no way I could talk to her about this. I do not even have the right, damn it. There is no solution that will please everyone. And sometimes that means you have just got to bite the bullet and do what needs to be done. I know that is why Her Highness made this decision. I know that is why Maya accepted it too. It is not my place to reopen old wounds. Just because I do not think it is fair. I am grateful to her for exactly the same thing. Even after I nearly threw myself on her, Maya still welcomed me back as if nothing ever happened. It is not just that she forgave me either. She was genuinely willing to sacrifice her body if it would help me make it past Sergeant Jin Kuchi's death, even when she had all this emotional baggage swirling around in her head on top of her own grief. Thank 
き事を言うでないそなたの自らの意志でその立場に立ったならこのがそれに合わせ力を持つ者と持たぬ者の立場を使い分けるのはやめるがよい腕を失おうが足を失おうが生きている限り戦うことはできる次がない死者たちのためにも聖ある者がそれをなすべきであろう皆人類の勝利を信じるからこそそれぞれが負う役割に準じてゆけるのだその悲願を達成することこそが生かされた者の義務だ私はそう思っている月並みだが私にも守りたいものがあるのだこの星この国の民そして日本という国だ She is nothing like me. She has never been the type to let her emotions control her or give in to despair. She has been prepared for this since long before she stood in for the Shogun. Ever since the day she was born, she knew this might happen. That is why she can accept this so easily. メイヤ様のこと何とぞよろしくお願いいたしますスクヨミさん has always cared so deeply for メイヤ both in this world and in mine it seems so effortless for her to make the call about letting メイヤ take the shogun's place but right now it is obvious that she cannot bear the thought of leaving メイヤ on her own She feels the same way about Maya as Maya felt about the old woman at Mount Tenjin. I don't think I'm going to be a good person. I don't think I'm going to be a good person. I don't think I'm going to be a good person. I don't think I'm going to be a good person. I don't think I'm going to be a good person. But you're going to be a good person. そこに自分の意思があるかどうかが問題なのだそれが反映できるかどうかが問題なのだ言いたいことはわかるけどさだけでも考えてみてほしい自分の大切なものが自分の意思とは無関係に奪われてしまうのだ I think I finally understand Maya must have been projecting her own feelings onto that old woman She has been jerked around by the government her entire life, but she could not bear to force that fate upon anyone else. That is why she was willing to break military regulations. She let her emotions take precedence over her duty, just like Lieutenant Tsukuyomi is doing right now. She is just as human as the rest of us. First Lieutenant, I have faith in Maya. Shirogane. And while I cannot say with confidence I understand how she feels or what she is going through. <sighs> I do think that this might finally be a chance for her to start living life on her own terms. Sure, she will lose a lot of her special privileges, but she never asked for those in the first place. <laughs> Honestly, I think she prefers being treated as a normal person rather than as a member of the Shogun's family. And now that she has been freed from the shackles of her lineage, Maybe she will finally start to feel comfortable with just being Mitsurugi Maya. <sighs> I am sure she still has every intention of laying her life on the line to protect and to fight in the name of her highness and her people. But I really do not think she would ever do something rash just to get herself killed. Of course, I cannot promise she will not go berserk and try something crazy, 
I sincerely doubt it. What I can promise, though, is that if it ever comes to that, I will knock her around until she snaps out of it. <laughs> After all, I do not have to worry about you murdering me for it anymore. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just give her a slap on the cheek then. Wow, that is the thanks I get for saving her life. Does not seem too fair. You can say that again. <laughs> Cannot believe I am sharing a laugh with this world's version of Tsukuyomi san. Never thought I would see the day. Perhaps this means she is finally starting to accept me. That, should, that would make me really happy. So, where will you be going from here? I see. There is probably another relative of the Shogun among those troops then. Perhaps the old adage about the nobility being the first to spill the blood on the front lines is finally starting to be enforced now that the government has been restored. Whiskey Unit's job is to charge right in and create a diversion. There's already a pretty slim chance of survival, and if Tsukuyomi San's flight has to defend some aristocrat on top of, on top of that. I see, so that's why she had to ask me this now. And what about after that? Great, so I'll see you after the operation then. First Lieutenant. Well, may the winds of fortune be at your back. コタビの作戦において貴様の部隊の使命は重い。これまでの話と矛盾するが、メイヤ様のことはあくまで余力の範囲で構わぬ。任務の遂行を最優先してほしい。いや、I Sweet, think that just about does it. Fin finally done adjusting my TSF. I had to really pick up the pace after all that time I spent talking to Tsukuyomi san. Man, I am beat. I guess I had better go talk to Yuko sensei now. What the? Sumika? What are you doing out here? I get it. So she is able to use her abilities to track me down, just like Kasumi can. <laughs> she is still wearing it. That is so sweet. Do not change the subject. Never mind that. Where is Kasumi? Is she not with you? Did Sensei not tell you to wander tell you not to wander around on your own? Well if the others see you, have some common sense. 
タケルちゃんと私はいつも一緒だもんね。This is bad. Sumika sticks out like a sore thumb here. Only a select few authorized people are able to get to A01's hangar. Actually, wait. How did she get past security? What? How is that possible? Does this mean Sumika has got a high level security clearance too? Come on, we have got to get you out of here. I was on my way to Sensei's office anyway, so you are in luck. No complaining. Let's go. She is not here. So much for that. I wonder where she went. Maybe she is in the command center, making preparations for the big operation. I mean, I doubt she has already left her Niigata, right? I should have asked her what her schedule was after the briefing. Yes, I think she might be in the command center. Wait, you know what she is up to? Oh, right. She can pinpoint Sensei's location, just like she did with me. So, where is she right now? Damn, even lower than this. Pretty sure my security pass will not get us that far. Well, shoot. Yeah, kinda. I have got a lot of questions to ask her. What? Does she even have a higher security clearance than me? I guess I'll explain how she got into the hangar. Well, I do not know if they will let us pass train together. More importantly, do you even have a pass for that? Slow down. Answer my question first. Do you have a security pass, yes or no? Oh, come on. Look, I will show you my... Right, she can just read my mind, which is great for the sake of expediency, do not get me wrong, but it still throws me off every time. Do you have one or not? This is a waste of time. Do not tell me she is having delusions again. Okay, then how do you suggest we get down there? Oh, for crying out loud. This is the alternative program's main research faculty. There is more top secret intel here than anyone in anywhere in the world. They are not just going to let us vault right in. Look, I do not have time for this. I need to get ready for deployment. I am just going to go down the list of extension numbers for the lower levels and hope she picks up. What do you think you are doing?
シンクロトロン放射の発生は極力抑えるのよレーザープラズマ加速器とリニアアクセラレーターとの重力偏差は絶対コンマにいないいいわね先生白金時間がないわ早速取り掛かってちょうだいわかりましたなんとかしてみます頼んだわよ敬礼はいいって言ってんのにこれだから新入りは Sorry to bother you I know you are swamped right now まったくだわ大体なんであんたがここにいるの Sumika brought me here She pinpointed where you were and somehow got us past all the security gates. So, I'm not going to get out of here. I'm not going to get out of here. I'm not going to get out of here. I do not get it. Even if she had a high level security pass, she would not have been able to bring me along with her. But she managed to get both of us through by just waving her hand in front of the scanner. How could she act like that is not a big deal? I just have some questions I want to ask you before our deployment. That was easier than expected. あんたの場合、教えない方が時間かかって厄介だし、作戦前にモチベーション下げられても困るしね。I can accomplish my mission regardless of morale.I mean, not that I blame her given how immature I have acted in the past, but she could at least have a little faith in me. Sorry, I was not trying to. So, the Kagami, Korekara Kunen Shioka. Where the hell did that come from? Kunen, Takeru Tamo is this car? Motiro, you, Hokani Moze Nakamaga, you do. Takeru Tanda Kede, you, Sense. A whole bunch of people. She must be talking about Operation 21st. I guess Sumika needs to be deployed for her training right away. あなたは準備をしなさい。白金も後から行くって。はーい。注意。あなたは鏡を連れて先に行きなさい。私はこの子の相手をしてから行くわ。了解しました。さあ鏡少尉、行きましょう。タケルちゃん、後でね。See you in a bit <笑>。あっちの世界の私もこういう苦労をしているのかしら。If anything, you were the one running the two of us, Ragged. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I am guessing you have got something important to tell me, given that you felt the need to get rid of Sumika like that. Scotty was thinking about it, right? Quite, quite. Seriously, though, why bother? Sumika can just read your thoughts, can she not? I get that Sumika and Kasumi are not constantly reading everyone's minds, but she would still find out what we talked about the next time she reads your mind, would she not? Wait, so you have prevented her from reading your mind somehow? まあね、たった今私が訓練だってごまかしたのにあの子はそれを見抜けなかったでしょ Yeah, you are right. Were you just forcing yourself not to think about the truth or what? 
あのね確かにリーディング能力はテレパシーじゃないから思考内容がダイレクトに伝わるわけじゃないわだけどそれを意訳して伝えるのが人工 ESP 発言体やゼロゼロユニットの役目なのよリーディング対象の嘘が見抜けない程度だったらベータの情報収集なんて無理じゃないかしらね OK so what did you do? あの子がしているリボンあれがフィルターの役目をするのよ Wait, you mean that huge yellow one she has always worn? あの生地の繊維にバフワイト素子とマイクロチップが織り込まれているの。バフワイトパーティクルズ、What are those? 一つの大きさが約20ミクロンの思考波通信素子よ。それが逆位相の思考波を発信していて、特定の思考波を打ち消してしまうのよ。What? 当然。オルタネイティブ計画の主要メンバー全員分の思考派パターンが一緒に織り込まれたマイクロチップに登録されているわ。Wait, but then how could she tell you were down here? 存在を認識するのと思考をリーディングするのは別の能力だからね。They are? 例えば、漂ってきた匂いで食べ物の味を思い出すのと、食べているときに味を感じるのは違うでしょ They are that distinct. I always assumed it's all just part of the mind reading process. Well, I suppose if we're trying to keep her mentally stable, then it's probably best to keep her from seeing too much of other people's thoughts. Especially considering how scared that may cost me of other people. 彼女の精神的な安定もそうだけどこの手の処置にはもっと深刻な理由があるよ。まあそうね、ほぼ正解。Then what is it? 人類の切り札として生み出されたゼロゼロユニットがベータ以上に恐ろしい敵になってしまう可能性があるからね。What? You are worried she will go rogue? Come on, that is crazy talk. あの子はあんたをどうやってここまで連れてきた本来ならセキュリティに引っかかるはずね。Yeah, I could not tell you. She has waved her hand over the terminals and that was that. Even she says she does not know why it works. ゲートの端末から基地のメインコンピューターに侵入してセキュリティコードを書き換えたのよ。Wait, what? Sumika hacked the system all by herself? But she never knew the first thing about computers. Hell, she could barely even hold the game control the right way around. Even if she was slightly more tech savvy in this world. I cannot imagine she would be able to hack into military databases. But she has a total space cadet when it comes to computers. How is that even possible? Chisky is not related to her. She 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 is not related to her. そういう抽象的な思考だけで高度なハッキングを難なくやってしまったってことなのあの子はゼロゼロユニットなのよ量子電動脳の性能を甘く見ないでほしいわね OK fair enough I guess I can see how that would be possible but how could you do it without even touching the panel 彼女の手のひらにもバフワイト素子が無数に埋め込まれているから Like the ones in her ribbon. So, so no, she called her two sins, so she got the mass to no he says, she said, so go, can only stay in oil. I see, so that's how she does it. So, no, 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 zero zero unit to me, I died at the edu, you. So, they were, can you just, so no, 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 サノーニガタのメインコンピューターそのものといった方が正しいのかしら She is the computer? 
I mean, it makes sense given the insane processing power of her quantum conductive brain. But still. Zero Zero Unit の機能を考えると、機体に登場するっていうより、接続されるって言った方がイメージに合うのよね。How does that work? サノオ新潟には、戦術機のような手動操縦装置は搭載されていないしね。必要がないから。You mean there is no foot pedals or anything? Zero Zero Unit は直接思考制御でスサノオニガタを操縦するのよ。もっとも人間ではないから、思考っていうのはあくまで比喩ね。Direct Thought Control? 人間が戦術機を動かす場合、操縦操作という入力に加えて、統計的な間接思考制御とコンピューターの自動制御を併用しているわね。<音声>操縦する衛士が何かをしようとするつまり脳が命令を出すと強化装備のセンサーがそれを感知する蓄積された脳波や帯電圧データのライブラリーからコンピューターがパターン照合することで機体に予備動作を開始させる衛士の操縦操作で最終的なコマンドを確認しズレがあれば即時補正するこれが間接思考制御の概要ガーレこの方式では絶対になくすことができないロスがある。脳からの命令が肉体的な入力を経由するというシークエンスがそう。なぜなら、そもそも間接思考制御自体が人間の脳を直接機械につなげない代わりに考えられた大案だから。Is still pretty incredible technology. だけど、ゼロゼロユニットは操縦操作という作業によることなく。いいえ、それだけじゃない。あたかも。人間が体を動かすように操縦に関わるすべてを制御できるのよ。So then what you are saying is... 彼女は自分の耳や目を使うようにザノーニ型のセンサー類を駆使するわ。そして心臓や肺を動かすように内臓からホルモンを分泌させるようにムアコックレヒテキカンを制御するのよ。So basically it's just another metabolic process. そうよ。素晴らしいでしょ Then that means the Susano is going to be something like a second skin for Sumiko. ゼロゼロユニットはあらゆる面において人間に最も近いコンピューター。それがスサノオニガタと一つになることで完全な自律制御兵器が完成するのよ。So Sumiko is not just going to be piloting the weapon. She is the weapon. だからセキュリティ突破をどうやったかなんて本人が説明できなくて当然あんたが自分の心臓をどうやって動かしているか説明できないよねもう分かったなぜゼロゼロユニットがベータ以上の敵になる可能性があるのか人間の手に余る人ではない存在に対する潜在的な恐れ反オルタネイティブ4の連中が掲げるゼロゼロユニット脅威論も同じ。Wait, what? アメリカもオルタネイティブ5推進派もそれに乗っかっているのよ。An inhuman threat that can take into people's minds and perceive both their thoughts and emotions. She can hack into computers and do whatever she wants with their contents. Not to mention control a fearsome weapon like the Susano as if it were an extension of her own body. In the worst case scenario, she would easily take control of all her computer based weaponry and systems and use them to do her bidding. Yes, I can definitely see how she would be a serious threat if she turned on us. And I get that people are even more afraid of inhuman threats in this world after having to deal with the beta for decades on end. But Sumika is never going to do that. I am absolutely positive. She is a human being, 
even if she has an artificial body, she still has a human soul. But we would fear anyone with those kinds of powers, whether they were human or not. So, ne? I mean, just look at how Kasumi was treated during Alternative 3. Before she came here, everyone acted like she was a leper. The line between human and inhuman is totally arbitrary, so that is not really an argument. They are just reacting reflexively to something they do not understand. Kind of like how I got upset after finding out Sumika had been the one in the brain tube. Besides, if we're talking about weapons that are too powerful for us to control, are not the G-bombs and nukes just as risky? Yes, but there are powerful people out there who are actively trying to get those bombs dropped. How is that threat any different from the risk of the zero zero unit going rogue? Stream elements said. Stay thirsty, my friends. Hydrate. Are you kidding me? You are right. I should not be. We cannot even figure out how to trust each other in the face of annihilation. God forbid we trust something made by our own kind. So you. Damn it. I should not have let that slip out. I swore not to let myself get pissed off about stuff like this anymore. だから、あんたに頼んだのよ。そんな人間に絶望して彼女が鏡隅香が人類の敵にならないようにあんたに頼んだのよ。ヤシロに接するあんたを見ていればわかる。作り物であろうが兵器であろうがあんたには関係ない
I guess so. ゼロゼロユニットもハイブに近づかなければリーディングはできない。だとすれば、一番生還の可能性が高いものに乗せるのは当然でしょ。If Asusano truly has always cracked up the bean, then yes, she will be in the safest place on the battlefield. But that begs the question Is Asusano really as powerful as you were saying? まあ、あれを通常兵器っていうのは論議の分かれるところではあるけどベータのレーザーがいかに強力であれそれが電磁波である以上ラザフォードフィールドの重力偏差を突破することはできない将来ラザフォードフィールドの制御技術が進めばそのレーザーを曲げて敵に照射することも可能になるはずよ That's actually possible. Holy shit. 攻撃手兵装の家電重視法もより強力な陽電子法や量子法に換装することが可能だしまあその辺はまだまだ実用レベルじゃないから一度使ったら期待ごとアウトだけどね I have seen positron cannons in like video games and stuff before but what the hell is a quantum cannon? これで強力じゃなかったら何が強力なのっていうアメリカらしい狂った兵器でしょ島国育ちの農耕民族にはできない発想よねこんな夢みたいな兵器ここまで作っておいて開発放棄するなんて信じられないでしょ I thought you said it was due to the invention of the G-bomb 確かにそうだけど計画のキャンセルにはまだいくつか理由があるのよ So why did you not mention any of those earlier? If it has got some major defects, do you not think we should be aware of them since we are going to be the ones guarding it? Dame, Kotchi wa XD 70 ga Jinri no Kibo da toka Kyusei shu da ste ikata shite ru no. Zero zero unit to niyo te kokuk sareta kekka go waza waza agete fuan ni sase ru no wa rikou ja nai wa ne. I guess the cancellation did happen two decades ago. Computers were not very advanced back then, and they did not have access to the same kinds of materials, so it makes sense that we were able to buff out those kinks with modern technology. So, if you want to talk about that, if you want to talk about XG70, then you can talk about the human unit as a human unit as a human unit as a human unit. Okay, it is pretty clear since he has no intention of divulging anything about Sumika just yet. Not even to the rest of A01. Which makes sense. Her lifelike appearance is a huge asset in keeping the 00 unit safe from prying eyes. There's no way she would risk compromising that. I mean, There is a definitive risk that people might be able to build off that clue to uncover the full story behind the Zero Zero unit and the fact that she has been conducting human experimentation. So, what kinds of defects were they, anyway? Okay, like. XG70 シリーズは有人兵器として計画されながら結局人間が登場できない代物になってしまったのよ。That does sound pretty dumb.Was it because of the anti-gravity stuff? 厳密に言えば反重力と重力制御は別物なの。ムアコックレヒテ機関によってもたらされるのは重力制御よ。And here I thought they were basically the same thing. 初歩的な重力制御技術とはいえ XG70 の軌道は理論上在来兵器では考えられないものになるはずだっただからコックピットにもラザフォードフィールドを展開して操縦者を急激な慣性の変化から隔離する方式を採用したんだけど so they were something, were aware something might go wrong. 結局人間の生理機能を 100% トレースする制御技術が最後まで確立できなかったってわけ 
analyze the body structure. Kekko, so no hen o la kanshi ste ta fushi ga aru wa. r a t h e r f o r d Field de tsun de sa ileba, rokuju pa cent grai de juubun da ro te ne. Tashi ka ni, jikken dobuz o tskatta testo hiko ya, tsujo kido ma de wa, ningen ga notte mo mattak mondai na katta. Da kedo, so no tsugi no dan kai. Jisen o so te sta, kou ki doji no kaden liu shi ho un yo o so te sta testo de, jikken wa oki ta. In the year 12, people piloted back then, and all 12 of them died. Kaden Liu Shifo was hatched as a sign, and the Kitai Tabu to Kofo was hatched as a sign, and the Kitai Tabu to Kofo was hatched as a sign. So this happened during the recharge period when the Susano is as weakest. その多重干渉の影響をキャンセルすることが当時搭載されていたコンピューターの演算能力では不可能だったのよその後の追試験で通常軌道であっても 100% 安全ではないという事実まで判明してしまったのよ In other words, no human would be able to pilot it That's why we give away Sumika's identity その通り The existence of the 00 unit might be confidential, but anyone who knows why the XG70 was cancelled would instantly realize that she cannot possibly be human. Then, she cut a duck and was in Kaste, Jido Sege de Unio Sirkotan in Natan Dakedo, Jokio Henka and Tayonga Kakuit Tekide, America Gun no Yokio Shio, and Mitaskoto de Kinakata. So, any Toji no Autopilot to Gizis Deva. But now that we have Sumika, those defects are no longer a problem. So, ne, Rakedo Sorega and your mother, that tiny cook for the Kinai compound Tekina Monday and Nokote. Seriously, there is even more. Are you sure it is safe to use this thing? The Ocident Dono in Gray Nine is still not to do you. Muako Kurehtek Kanya, Gray Eleven to you, which is not still not. Gray Eleven was Gray Eleven discovered by the same American scientist, Dr. Gray. So ウィリアム・グレイが発見した11番目の人類未発見元素よもちろんその由来はベータ So then, if the Morcock Lake device paved the way for the G-bomb then the G and then the great G-bomb could stand for Gray If I can say words XG70 の G も同じ両方ともグレイ11を使ってるからね So that is what that is G だの正式名称は Fifth Dimensional Effect Bomb. Gojigen Kouka Bakudai. Fifth Dimension. So, Gojigen. つまり重力のこと。誰がつけたか知らないけど、G だっていう属性はある意味気の利いたシャレになってるのよ。Right, because it comes from both gravity and gray. ムアコックレヒテ機関の構造を簡易化して。反応を制御せずに暴走させる構造にしたものが G だアメリカは XG70 開発計画で貴重なグレイ11を消費し続けるより残り全部を G だにする選択をしたそれはなぜかグレイ11の生成が当時も今も技術的に不可能だからよアメリカが入手したグレイ11の総量は約2トンそれを使い切ったらおしまいつまりグレイレブンが必要であること自体が絶対に克服できない XG70 の宿命的な問題点ってわけどうしても欲しいならハイブを占領するしかないしかもほぼ無傷で So the beta make that stuff on earth ランドサットのデータによるとフェイズ5以上の成熟したハイブでのみそれらの物質を生成することができるらしいわ 
Yes, it definitely makes a lot more sense to bank on a bomb that uses existing technology than it does to waste precious time and resources on a weapon that will run out of fuel sooner or later. Especially if getting our hands on more of that fuel requires capturing a hive at phase 5 or higher without destroying it. That's a lot less than what the Americans got. ジーダン爆発の連鎖反応で消失したという説もあるけど、元々それしかなかったという世界を言うべき。What ラザフォードフィールドにレーザー照射を受けた場合、エンジンにはきっちり負担がかかるのよ。つまり、照射に対抗してラザフォードフィールドを維持するための出力が増大するから反応も加速する。当然その分燃料を消費するってわけ。家
I am almost positive this is one of the reasons she said the rebellion would be a good opportunity for us. で、その連中が政府と議会を説得したってわけ。オルタネイティブ4の成果によってベータが駆逐された場合に被る。アメリカの不利益をネタにね。Got. So that's why they handed over the Susano so willingly. ロックウィードなんて最初に接種を打診した時からずっと乗り気だったからことが決まってからの動きの早いこと早いこと。Lockweed? Sorry, what is that? 当時XG70開発計画を受注した企業の一つよ So, is the name of a company? そこにノースアメリカーナマクダイルドグラムを加えた三者合同プロジェクトとして当時受注したのよいずれもアメリカ兵器産業を代表する大企業だったけど XG70計画のキャンセルで全部経営傾いたわけ その後、ノースアメリカーナはロックスウィルにマグダイルドグラムはボーニングにそれぞれ吸収されたがロックウィードだけはマーディンエラッタ社と合併して未だ健在アメリカ軍の新型戦術機は確かあそこが作ってたわ
プロジェクション能力のテストをいつ行うかは今回の結果次第ねリーディングだけでどこまで情報を得られるかだから今はまだ彼らにゼロゼロユニットの能力を知られるわけにはいかないわバッフワイト阻止のような対策を取られたら元も子もないし Wait, are you saying the buff white particles are made from beta materials too? なかなか鋭いわね。そんな便利なものが世の中に出回らないのは、その原材料が希少物質だからよ。Knew it. After all, if we had the technology to transmit thought waves to and fro, we would already be using it in our fortified suits. It is like all our best weapons for fighting against the beta are made from their own materials. That is for sure. What do you mean? Beta is Gray 9 and Gray 11. Negative mass? How the hell does that work? You are right, that is a little strange. Maybe. Maybe they are trying to take over the earth without damaging it too much, or maybe they just do not think we are a big enough threat to warrant it. It is definitely possible that the beta have weapons of their own hidden somewhere, and if they do, I would imagine they are probably much more powerful than the Susano. Which means it is absolutely crucial that we do not let the beta find out what the Zero Zero unit is capable of, no matter what. Of course, this is all just hypothetical. It has been 30 years since this war began, and they have never once used that kind of weaponry on us. And at the end of the day, It does not really matter if they do have some secret trump card. We still have to find some way to take them out. Damn it. Not that I assumed we would be able to make short work of the beta as soon as the zero zero unit was complete. But man, we have still got a long road ahead of us. In fact, I would say we've only just begun. Of course. Sorry for keeping you so long, but I do appreciate you answering all my questions. I know. You be careful too, Sensei. Jane! A metric ton. Shirogane! Kanojo, Tanonda. I will. December twenty fourth, two thousand one. Oh shit. Stuff's about to start going down. Honestly, does I feel like we are on a boat right now? I am sure that is partially due to the calm weather, but this ship's massive size makes for a really smooth ride. I can hardly feel the waves at all. Today is Christmas Eve in the previous timeline. This was when they put Alternative 4 into effect. And I, had a, and I have a hard time believing they planned such a huge operation for this exact date by sheer coincidence. Christmas. 
つの意味があるのよ。わかるえあ、いや、その。一つは、一人の子供が人類に夢と希望を与えた日。もう一つはね、大人が子供に夢見させる日。サンタがこんなんじゃ、あんたの夢なんか持てないでしょ。早く戻って夢の続き見なさいね。最初の意味はどこ行ったんですかやっぱり何かに例えたいんじゃないんですか私は聖母にはなれなかったとでも言っておきましょうかどういう意味ですか戻りなさい時間は普遍的なものじゃないのいつこの時間が奪われてもおかしくないってことはあんたが一番知ってるでしょうね If she was trying to be the Holy Mother, I guess I would make Sumika the child in that metaphor. Just over the horizon is Sadokashima and the Beta Stronghold. This is going to be the stage for our first all out battle. It is going to be the first of many encounters with the beta for us, and the first big step toward mankind's ultimate victory. We cannot afford to lose here, and I am going to do my part to protect Sumika. We have to ensure her safety for the sake of humanity's future. Shirogane? Captain? 何やってるんだこんなところで飲むか Not that rat poison again No thanks I am not thirsty そうかそれにしてもどうしたんだ眠れないのか I guess you could say that まさかと思うがまだ PTSD のこと気にしてるんじゃないだろうな That has not been a problem lately at all. In fact, I had almost completely forgotten about it until you just brought it up. So, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the most important thing about the captain. The captain has always shown a lot of concern for me and my condition. She has even gone out of her way to help get me treatment. I was just thinking that's all. Got too much on my mind to fall asleep. Ma, so it's no shame. The captain has always been a part of the mission. No, it is not that I am nervous or anything. Maybe I am a little nervous. Do it, and you will be fine. That's what is natural. Even you, Captain? It's just a matter of time. I've been doing this for such a big mission. So she is nervous too. She sure does not look like it. You know, that actually makes me feel a little better. What are you thinking about me? I'm just a girl. You are anything but. I feel like you're some kind of superwoman, honestly. I mean, it is not just you. All the women around me are so strong, and I do not mean just me physically. True that. I have got so much respect for you guys, seriously. Shirogane. Kisama, onna to umaku itte nai no ka? Why would you think that? And where the hell is this even coming from? Nanda, chigau no ka? Watashi no keiken kara suru to, onna no tsuyosa ga douko yu yatsu wa. 
I did not get dumped. You are surprised? Never in my wildest dreams would I have pictured you asking about girl problems. I mean, you just do not seem like the type to gossip about relationship drama or whatever. なるほど。軍人としては頼れても色恋沙汰に関してはあてにならない。そう言いたいんだな。No, I just なんだ。貴様が考えていたのはそこまで言いづらい内容だったのか? No, is not that. じゃあ、ぜひ聞かせてもらいたいな。This is not good. How can I put this delicately? Well, keep in mind this is just a personal impression, okay? Uh, I guess I just did not really see you as the type of person who would want to get involved in other people's personal affairs. Well, like as a general rule, you seem to deliberately avoid sticking your nose in our business. It is a way to convey that you trust us, and expect us to behave like full-fledged service pilots, I guess. You are kind of a perfectionist by nature, so once you draw a line in the sand like that, I feel like you would usually make absolutely sure not to cross it. なるほど。そんなに堅物に見えてるのか。I mean, I would not go that far. いや、いいんだ。確かに私は他人の色恋沙汰に個人的な興味は全くない。So I was right。まあ、舞台長責任の範疇で部下のメンタル面を気にかけるよう努力はしているがな。だからその手の話で相談に乗れたとしても人の経験談や。数少ない自分の体験を参考に分析して比較評価するだけだ。Cross-reference, classic Captain Isumi. その手の話だったら、胸方の方がよっぽど頼りになるだろうしな。I already told you I did not get dumped. Now could you please drop it already? まあいい。She <laughs> totally thinks I am lying. Special. Trust me, it is nothing too crazy. And for what it is worth, your guess was not too far off. I did not get dumped by Sumika, obviously. But I was thinking about a girl, so she was half right. Soka. それが貴様の中で解決できればそれでいいんだ。心の整理さえつけられればな。I will not let it get back again the way of the mission. Would not want to break surface pilot code after all. I cannot let people see that I am wavering or stressed out. They will just get worried about me. Does not matter if I am struggling as long as I do not let it show. Besides, this Sumika stuff is not worth getting stressed out over anyway. Ask me what? That's something a lot of people ask me in this world. Probably says something about how so uncertain I must look sometimes. Unless that's sort of just how they break the ice in this world. Sort of like asking about someone's blood type or astrological sign or favorite sex position. I am fighting to take back what I have lost. I have lost a lot of the things that mattered most to me. Some were stolen away. 
and some might destroy through my own incompetence. Selfish as it might sound, I just want to try and get them back. I kind of doubt that. Soldier mentality. Ah, two world wars and the first beta war of the soldiers to check and check for the effect of the stress of the enemy on the soldiers and the effect of the How are they able to get that kind of data from the world wars? Man, that must have taken some serious time and effort. The US military is always so painstakingly comprehensive. When it comes to war, they always thoroughly explore every avenue that could slightly grant their country a slight advantage, even if they have to resort to unethical means. In that case, the first war of the first war was fought for what purpose? To a survey of the survey, the results were interesting. Like what? The most important reason. What do you think? Probably to protect the Earth and their fellow man. Though I guess for the veterans, it would probably be just to protect their respective countries. Hazreda, so they were ordered to go out to the battle before the soldiers could answer the question. No kidding. The battle before the soldiers could answer the question. No kidding. The battle before the soldiers could answer the question.戦争の現実を知らない者ほど建前やりそう教育の影響でそう答える者が多いそうだ。I Of course. Interesting. 同じ戦果をくぐり抜け苦楽を共にしてきた戦友を死なせたくないだから必死に戦うことができるというわけだ大きく差があって辞典が敵に対する恐怖らしい and that is basically the position of humanity as a whole in this war. I could definitely see fear being a really common motivator right now, but apparently concern for our comrades tends to come first. What about you, Captain? What are you fighting for? I can understand that. I, I must say, I am a little surprised. Definitely a more simplistic answer than I had expected from the leader of Special Task Force, like A01. オルタネイティブ計画の成功という目的がブレているわけではない。ハイブに突入しろという命令があれば 
生還の可能性が低くてもそれに従うだが実際に突入した後にはその目的だけで戦い切るのは難しいのかもしれないなそれはもっとこう直接的な目の前にある何かのために命を懸けたいという願望なのか自分の死は決して無駄ではないという何がしかの意味を求めているのかまあそれはどのみちある種のセンチメンタリズムなんだろうがいつの間にかそう思うようになってしまっていたなしかも実践を重ねるたびにその思いはますます強くなっている Make sense when you have got to witness the horrors of war first hand and cope with the fact that you could literally die any minute No light at the end of the tunnel is going to keep you sane. Those who have yet to see true combat might talk about saving the world, but those who have just want something tangible to hold on to. I wonder if I will start to feel the same way after this battle. だからこそさっき貴様が言っていた戦う理由に到達したんじゃないのか I have not even been in a real battle yet. 確かにそうなんだだが不思議なことに貴様は私にそう思わせるんだだがだからこそ納得する I am not all that special, really. b u k a n s o Nimu to Stevari Kirinagaramo, Sore of Sasai Nishinaka, a Shini Mukia, and I, what I knew. Kisamano Yona Kanga Kata, a Dekina. I mean, sure, I would never go out my way to save a comrade if it meant compromising the mission. But even so. I do not want to lose my friends either, you know. わかっている。貴様の戦う理由にはそれが含まれていると言っているんだ。貴様の戦う理由を簡単に言えば、自分のためということだ。だが、これまでの貴様の言動から、そこに極端な利己性は感じられない。自分のために戦いながら、結果的に他者をも救おうとするまさに貴様は理想論を掲げているんだ。That is probably because I still do not have any true combat experience. 確かに実践ではないが、あれほどの体験をしながらも、今それを口にできるのは、相当なバカか、本当に肝が据わっているかのどちらかでしかない。All I did was run away from my problems. I would not even be here right now if they had not followed me back to my world. Even now, I still find myself questioning my resolve from time to time. I think you are probably giving me too much credit, though I am not exactly sure myself. So, ka? So, de mo kisama wa. Well, thanks for the pity vote, I guess. Kinchos t e i t o n a g a r a s o o o u t a m o s i n a Please, it is only because you helped me unwind. Mai Tonica Kisamaga Mete in I Jibunji no Chibuva Kono Nimu de Artedo. Maybe so. On second thought, I think the captain might be right. Maybe I already have the right mentality. I've got both an ultimate long term goal of restoring the worlds to the rightful order and a more immediate personal goal of protecting Sumika. Something tangible to keep me motivated.
As of right now, my final objective is to get rid of whatever it is that made me a causality conductor to break the cycle and set these worlds back to normal. And I still intend to exterminate the beta and save our species along the way. But there is no denying that having Sumiki here with me, even as the zero zero unit, is what gives me the strength to push forward and take things one step at a time. And I also can't deny that it's the reason I've been feeling so conflicted. I'm trying my best to keep our relationship professional for the sake of the mission, but I can't help having feelings for her. I think that's probably why I'm having doubts about my resolve. I wonder what the captain would do if she were in a situation like this. Mind if I ask you a hypothetical question? Nanda. Say you were going out with someone from your own unit, and they also happen to play an integral part in your overall mission. If you were in that position, how much would you let your feelings for them influence the way in which you carry out your duties? Right. Oh, and please don't give me a stock answer like, the mission always comes first, either. I know, I want to know how you feel, really. I mean, only as much as you feel comfortable telling me, of course. But... Damn, she saw right through me, though I guess that was pretty much obvious. Thanks, I would appreciate it. So that's that does not sound like you at all. I mean, you're so resolute and conscientious. I feel like you never let your emotions get in the way. I mean, she kept her wits about her after Sergeant Shinku Ji's death, and during our one on one crash course and whenever she commanded us in training. Yeah. Are you serious? So she puts in all that effort just to compensate for her shortcomings? Still, that's not something you can do without recognizing your own weaknesses first. I see. So that's where her attention to detail would come in handy. And I'm sure she'd do that with just as much precision as everything else. I see. So even a stern commander like the captain would let her emotions influence her actions. Guess that just goes to show that we're only human. Of course, to pull that off without anyone noticing, you would need to be capable of looking at the situation and your own actions from a calm, objective standpoint. 
The fact that she's cautious and scrupulous enough to manage that is probably what makes her commander material. Sergeant Jingu Ji says something incredibly similar. Why do you say that? She's got some dude waiting for her on the outside. だが、さっきも言ったように実践を重ねるたび仲間を殺さないためという理由が強くなっていった。その男に生きて会うことの大きさは変わらないが、それよりも仲間を殺したくない気持ちが勝ってしまった。If she knew the truth about Unit A-01, she wouldn't have been thinking about the chance of seeing him again. Interesting. So to be perfectly honest, I feel like you might just approach it that way from the start. The captain has no idea that everyone in A01 was brought in to test their viability as a 00 unit candidate. If she knew the fate that was in store for those candidates, she wouldn't even have been thinking about meeting him again. She's not the sort to indulge in wishful thinking. Even if she were chosen, and they successfully transferred over her memories and personality, the Zero Zero unit is a military secret. They'd never allow her to meet with one of her old acquaintances. So this guy you're talking about, is he your lover? Then yeah, if he's not even family, there's no way in hell they'd let her see him again. Nobody in A01 knows the real reason it was established, which means they probably don't know a thing about Sumika. I think it's safe for me to pry a little bit more. Probably. That's a pretty big answer coming from you. That being said, it is 1800, so it's time to go ahead and head off. Stay safe, guys, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow for another six hours of Muv Love Alternative. Hopefully, this time, without uh, random internet connection stream issues. <laughs>